Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and welcome to my team, No Money Spent, Season 2, Episode 2. Before we get into the intro for this stream, I just want to thank everybody, every single person who showed up to yesterday's stream. It was a great return for me, it was a great time, I had an awesome time vibing with all you guys in the chat, and of course, we got a little bit of grinding done too. It was my first time playing my team in months and we got from level 0 all the way up to level 26. I started learning how to play the game again, getting my groove back, and we did also make a few purchases on the auction house. Here's how my team is looking right now. It's not great, but it's not terrible either, I don't think. We got Shea Gildas Alexander and a bunch of other solid guys. Idronis Olkowskis at the 2, Jonathan Isaac, Marc Gasol, Sabonis, and of course, we made sure to get all three of those free Dark Matters, Nat Clifton, Chuck Cooper, and of course, Earl Lloyd. So, if you haven't gotten these three guys yet, it takes less than five minutes to get them. Also, make sure you pick up this Dark Matter, Evo, Carmelo Anthony, before the end of the season, because he's a free Dark Matter as well. We also did that challenge where you have to win like six clutch time games in a row, and sadly, we got Donovan Mitchell from that. We're probably not going to use him much, but he's also a free Dark Matter, so I'm not complaining about getting him. Here's how our team is looking right now. And today, in this stream, I'm hoping to make another upgrade to my team. Today, we're going to be chilling and grinding some draft mode. You guys are probably thinking, Doc, draft mode? Seriously? Why? Well, first of all, the prize for draft mode is Dark Matter Mitch Richmond. But also, I haven't played 5-on-5 five five in so long. Of course, in the stream last night, we played some clutch time, we played like 5 games, and we won all 5 of those games, but it's still been so long since I've sat down and actually grinded 5-on-5, five five, whether that's limited, unlimited, or even clutch time. So, I think playing draft mode is a nice, chill, fun way to actually get my legs back under me, get some practice in, play the game, and of course, add a free Dark Matter to my collection, if all goes according to plan, we're going to play draft mode. We're definitely going to play unlimited eventually to get Artis Gilmore. Hopefully we get Rick Smiths, John Havlicek, Sean Elliott, Sarunas Marshallonis, all those guys. We're going to be grinding hard this season. I'm going to be giving you guys as much content as I can. And hopefully 2K keeps on giving us content as well because they did a pretty good job this past week. Now, before I draft my team, let me say what's up to you guys in the chat. What's up, your mama sweat? Crazy Matt, Breezy, Mr. NBA, Seminole, welcome back, Lifeline Productions, Django Reaper, Josh Smoove, I Snipe, Troya Holic, D, Christopher Lopez, Hernandez, Cry Spooky, Smoove, Kovacs, Devin, Dre, Alexi, Jack. You guys say what's up to me in the chat if you haven't already. If I don't read your message right off the bat, it's nothing personal. It's just that I'm also trying to get back in my groove as a streamer, as a chat reader, so if I miss a chat here and there, you guys don't get too mad at me. What's up, Diego, Quentin, Doc Adams, Ricky, Chance, Zay the Great, Zerst on top, Trey Two Locked, A Walk Visions. Welcome to the stream, everybody. It's good to have y'all back, and I'm looking forward to just kicking back and chilling with you guys tonight. Ugh, not a great start to this draft, but. We did get two opals. Ja Ja said heat and seven. SF said heat sold. Hey, everybody in the chat, let me know what y'all thought about that heat Celtics game tonight because that's actually the reason why we started this stream so late. I was watching that heat Celtics game and man, that was an amazing game. 
the Heat had no business being in that game, honestly, but they ended up coming back, even though they were out of it for most of the game, and they actually had the lead with less than five seconds left. There were three seconds on the clock. One point lead. Marcus Smart forced up a really bad shot, but Derek White got the tip in. That was an insane ending to what was a great game. Heat fans gotta be in shambles right now. I predicted the Heat were gonna win this game. I thought the Heat were gonna finish this series in six on their home floor. And even though they were down for most of the game, they actually came really close. They almost pulled it off, man. I couldn't believe it. Like, like I said, one point lead, three seconds left. Marcus Smart forced up a terrible shot. And honestly, if Marcus Smart's shot wouldn't have rolled in and out, if it would have just bounced straight off the back rim, Derek White wouldn't have gotten that rebound. So I think that's something pretty notable to point out right there. It's just crazy how the ball bounces sometimes, man. Derek White, he was meant to get that offensive rebound and that putback layup. It's just, it's just unlucky for the Heat, but for the Celtics, man, they really blew this game. The Heat, they kind of had this game handed to them because the Celtics... Man, they were looking good for most of the night. Jason Tatum was going off in the first half, but he barely did anything in the second half. It was really looking like it was the Heat's night tonight. I mean, the Celtics' night. And it was looking like the Heat were really about to pull this thing off towards the end. But, man, that's just a tough way to go out if you're Miami. That's a very tough way to go out. What's up, Alan? What's up, Patrick? What's up, Blizzard? Why not grind a co-op offline? It's 50 wins. I mean, playing draft could just be 10 wins, and then you get, um, and then you get, what's his name, Mitch Richmond. Obviously, my team's not great. I wouldn't say it's terrible either. Here's my starting five right here. We got Shea and Turkaloo. I wish we had a better team, but, hey, worst case, we might lose a few games along the way, but I think we can still get 10 wins. Like I said earlier, the big reason why I'm playing draft mode is because I'm trying to get back used to playing 5-on-5 five -five basketball again. We played some triple threat clutch time yesterday, but we didn't play any limited or unlimited, so I'm just trying to run 5-on-5, five -five, full court, get some practice in, and hopefully get some wins along the way. Breezy said not the worst draft. Not the worst draft, but definitely not the best. Definitely not the best. Either way, like I said, we're just trying to get our groove back. What's up, Cohen? Josiah? Molly Mall, Spontaneous J, welcome back. What's up, MJ Pierre? What's up, Curtis? Devin said, let's run up the likes. Hey, I hadn't even mentioned that yet. You guys make sure to drop a like on this stream for me, if you haven't already, because every single like helps the stream get out there. Every single one. So you guys drop a like if you haven't already. Say what's up to me in the chat if you haven't already. And let's play, man. Let's run. Looking forward to just kicking back. And talking to you guys. I know I already said that, but yeah, this is going to be fun, man. This guy's got George Mirasan as his center, so guarding him is going to be tough. Gobert's not a bad defender, but yeah, I can already tell that Mirasan might give me some problems. Worst case scenario, I have um, Simbular on my bench. So we can actually use Simbular to guard Mirasan, and I can move Rudy Gobert to the power forward. And he's going to be guarded by Paul George, so that's actually a little bit of a mismatch that I could capitalize on. I could go ahead and do that right now, but it also depends on how this guy plays. We're playing some good defense on him. He's not getting many good shots up, so I wouldn't say we have to make adjustments just yet. Like, if he makes that, that's tough, but that's good defense. Swing that thing to Shea. Eddie Curry's wide open. That's good ball movement, man. Breezy said, any 12-hour streams coming up? I want to do some 12-hour streams for sure. Like, I want to give you guys some long streams again in the future. But like I said earlier, I got to get in my groove again as a streamer. I mean, if I just give you guys 12-hour streams every single time, especially considering that I just got back, I'm going to get burnt out really fast. So I got to work my way back up to those 12-hour streams. They will be back. There will be some long marathon grinds, but... Right now, I'm just trying to get my rhythm back. Like a great man once said, I'm trying to get my swagger back. Ooh, ooh. That was cringy. I apologize. 
We're off to a decent start, though. But that was cringe. Boston Bros said, what's good, Doc? What's good, Boston Bros? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna assume you're a Boston fan. Which means you gotta be feeling pretty good right now. That's my guess. Boston fans gotta be feeling great right now because their season was over. I already know you guys were pissed when Marcus Smart took that three. Because that was a tough shot. That was a bad shot by Smart, especially with three seconds left. He could have taken a dribble. He could have done so many other things than put up that shot. But man, it just rolled perfectly into Derek White's hands. And he got the rebound, the tip in. Man, we got a game seven, baby. Boston said Mavs in four. Man, the Mavs had a tough season. Mavericks really did. I thought they were going to make the playoffs too, especially coming off a conference finals appearance. SF said Heat or Celtics on Monday. In Boston? I might have to go with the Celtics, man. I know my original pick was Heat and six, but at this point, man, I mean, Celtics might really pull this off in seven. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. We got a mismatch right here. Oh, crap. Now Turkaloo's right by the basket. Terrible spacing. Still got a mismatch. We're kind of relying on mashing too much right now. What's up, Ja? Welcome to the stream. Elham said, where you been? I explained yesterday in my stream, but I know some of you guys in here right now might not have been here yesterday. So basically, I've just been busy, man, with school, work, all that stuff. And that combined with 2K just not doing a great job giving us content in my team over the past few months, my incentive to play the game wasn't as high as it's ever been. So got to take that into consideration, too. Mainly, I've been busy, but if 2K was giving us stuff that was, you know, worth grinding for... I would have been grinding. Zay the Great said Miami Heat is down bad. Yeah, they are. Miami's down real bad right now. But anybody can win Game 7. Anybody can win Game 7. The Heat, they shot terribly from the field tonight, man. Butler had a bad shooting game. And, of course, Bam also shot badly. Gabe Vincent was like 6 for 18 or something like that. The Heat didn't shoot well, but like... They had a chance to win. They were up by one with three seconds left. They forced a terrible shot. They were literally less than a half second away from pulling off this game, man, from getting this win. So, at the end of the day, considering how close Miami was tonight, if they can shoot even decently in game seven, they might really pull this off. They could pull this off. I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying it's possible. Brody said the Heat are selling. They kind of are, because first of all, they were up 3-0. Second of all, they should have won tonight. So they kind of are selling. But they still got a shot. It's not like this series is over. Ben said, yo, Doc, it's been a while. How are you? I'm doing great, Ben. Having a great day. A fun night. That was a great basketball game we just watched. Hope you're doing all right as well, man. What's up, Ben? What's up, little drummer boy? Grant Williams is king, said, missed you, Doc. I missed you too, Grant. Also, Jamari, welcome back. Man, I missed seeing you in the streams. You're saying I missed you streaming? I missed seeing you in the chat, man, not gonna lie. But it's good to have you back. Oh, that's gotta be a three. That was a great release. Defensively, I'm kind of selling right now. We can definitely be doing better on defense. Offensively, we're doing better than I expected. Defensively, we got off to a good start, but we're not doing so hot right now. So let's see if I can get some stops. That's a tough shot. Wow, in my face. What's up, Spyro? Welcome to the stream. Luba said, how are you, Doc? I'm doing great, man. Can't complain. How are you guys in the chat doing? I see a lot of y'all asking how I'm doing, but how are y'all doing? How are you guys doing? Forever said it's been a while, Doc. Hopefully you remember me. Of course I do. You're one of those guys I can't forget. You've been a member for so long, supporting the channel for so long. Can't forget a guy who's been showing love for so long, man. Shout out to you. Ooh, I wanted to see if I can draw the defense past to Kawhi. Huh, said Luka is a Nick. I would love that. I doubt it. But man, that would be awesome. Oh, good shot, Hito. Ooh, our threes are falling. Our threes are falling. Sakai said the Heat are definitely missing Tyler Hero. What do you guys think of the Heat missing Tyler Hero? Because, what's it called? That's a great point right there. Obviously, 
Tyler Hero would be giving the Heat some better offensive production, but I know a lot of guys who believe that the Heat play better without Tyler Hero, so what do you guys think of that take right there? What's up, Oswald? Welcome to the stream. Breezy said Jokic is going to be rusty with all this off time. I mean, I'm sure that Jokic is still getting conditioning in, still, you know, practicing, still getting his reps and his shots in. I don't think he's going to be that rusty no matter who he plays. Luba said best streamer on YouTube. Not even close, but I appreciate the love, man. There's so many great streamers on YouTube, so many great 2K streamers on YouTube as well. Shadow said, is that cut looking fresh? Yes, I think my haircut's really nice. I think later, I'll take the hat off and show it to you guys, but right now, I'm so locked in trying to pull off this dub. We're shooting well. Defensively, we're also doing okay, but like, we gotta get more stops. If we can get more stops, run in transition, and get easier shots, we could possibly make this guy quit, but he's attacking the rim a ton, putting pressure on me on the perimeter, hitting some tough pull-up mid-range shots too. Like, the shots he's making, they're not bad shots. They're just awkward shots because they're mid-range pull-ups. But he's making them, so I gotta be better on defense. What's up, Micah? What's up, Spencer? What's up, Lil' Cito? Preston said, like the shirt. I appreciate that, Preston. I promise you guys, I'm not a bandwagon Alabama fan. I'm from here, so I wouldn't say I consider myself bandwagon. I don't think I qualify as bandwagon. Miami said I'm gonna end my life. Oh, please don't. Don't do it, Miami. We love you around here. You're an awesome mod. Awesome dude overall, but that was a tough way for the heat to go out tonight, man. Everybody in the chat was talking about you earlier. They were like, Miami's down bad right now. He's gonna come into the stream tonight pissed. I know there's a lot of Heat fans in the chat. Troyaholic, Miami. I think Doc Adams was in here earlier. I know he's a Heat fan too. Like, we have a lot of Heat fans who watch my streams. Is Landon a Heat fan too? Because he was in here earlier. I can't remember for sure if he's a Heat fan, but I know we have Heat fans everywhere. Also, No Limit Zoe. I'm sure he's not in here right now. It's been a while since I've heard from him, but he's also a Heat fan. I know a ton of Heat fans. Like, in this community we have, we have a ton of Heat fans. Miami said I was gonna punch the TV. I couldn't believe what I saw, man. I'm glad I'm not a Heat fan because my heart would have absolutely dropped right there. No question about it. I would have been down bad, man. What's up, Lixamos? It has been a long time, but it's good to have you back. Welcome back to the stream, Lixamos. Memphis said the Celtics wouldn't have come this far just to lose. That's what I'm saying, man. The Celtics, they have momentum. They're looking good right now. That's why I think they're going to win this game 7, because they've made it this far. I don't think they're just going to, you know, fold after winning all these games to make it, what's it called, to make it a 3-3 series. They have momentum, they're playing with energy right now. It's really looking like they might end up in the finals. All they need is one more win. Kenneth said, no way I'm about to cry. About me streaming or about the Celtics? About the Celtics beating the Heat. Matt Mojo said, what's good? What's up, Matt Mojo? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Memphis Jamari said, and it's game seven. Yeah, exactly. So it's game seven. There's so much on the line. I mean, Miami is capable of winning this. Miami definitely has what it takes. But man, are, can they pull this off on the road in Boston? Game seven? That's a tough environment. I know the Celtics haven't been great on their home floor in the playoffs. But, man, I mean, this is game seven we're talking about. It's gonna be bumping in Boston, man. Lil Codeine, speaking of Boston, he's a huge Boston fan. I know he's hype right now, too. Cody, I was wrong. He was in here yesterday when I made my heat-winning game six prediction. I was wrong. I'm not upset about being wrong, though, because that was an awesome game. It got kind of slow in the second half, I'm not gonna lie. But I can't sit here and act like that wasn't an awesome game. That was a great game, and that's good defense. All right, let's run this fast break, man. We got a double-digit lead, finally. We're grooving. We're hitting our threes. This guy hasn't quit yet, but if we can just keep on hitting our shots, we might get him up out of here. But, of course, we got to get some stops on defense, too. What's up, Wesley? Welcome to the stream. Kenneth says, I really want JB to get a ring. Man, I mean... 
if the Celtics can just get to the finals, anything can happen. If I had to pick who's going to win Celtics versus Nuggets in the finals, I think I got to go with the Nuggets because they've been so dominant the entire playoffs. But like, at this point, the Celtics coming back down 3-0, you know, knocking off the Sixers, I think they can beat anybody. I think the Heat can too. I mean, the Heat have showed they can hang with anybody, so even though I'm picking the Nuggets to win that series if they play the Celtics, it could, it could honestly go either way. Kenneth said Jimmy Butler. Oh, you meant JB as in Jimmy Butler. Usually they just call Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets. Or Jimmy. I thought you were talking about Jalen Brown when you said JB. Breezy said, what are your thoughts on Wemby? Obviously an amazing prospect. He's going to be awesome. If he's anything less than awesome, might be a bit of a disappointment. But nah, Wemby's going to have an awesome career, I'm sure. And he's going to help revive the Spurs too. Ken's G said, what's good, bro? How you doing today? I'm doing great. It's been an awesome day. Great basketball game tonight. Great vibes in the chat. We're looking pretty good in our first game of the stream. We just got to get stops on defense. We're hitting our shots. We're getting to the rim. Just got to be a little bit better on D. Can Mirasan shoot? I'm going to help off of him. Good defense. Yeah, that's a tough shot. I can live with that going in. Ha huh, said Wemby is a bust. I mean, to be fair, if he's anything short of like, you know, a Hall of Famer, he'll end up being a bust. Because he's on pace, not on pace, but like he's projected to be like the best prospect ever. Like even better than LeBron, according to some people. I don't think he quite matches the same height as King James when he got drafted in 2003. But man, I mean, seven foot five, you can dribble, you can shoot. Like, he's going to be awesome. He can defend, he can block shots. Obviously, one big criticism of Wemby is that he's, you know, quote-unquote, too skinny. But, like, he knows how to use his length. He's going to put on muscle when he gets to the NBA. Like, I don't think him being skinny right now is a red flag. Miami said, Jimmy sold, then he helped us. He shot really badly from the field. He was 3 for 19, but then he hit that huge three-pointer from the left from the right wing and of course he also made some big free throws down the stretch as well he missed a few but like overall he had an awesome game awesome game stats wise defensively he wasn't the best he was in a bit of foul trouble but like he made some big plays down the stretch he was big for them obviously Derek White if he doesn't make that tip in I mean we're talking having a completely different conversation right now that was an insane tip in by Derek White Dom said, this is a site I haven't seen in more than a year. It has been a long time since my last stream. It's been a very long time, but I'm glad to be back. Oh, come on. We'll take the mid-range, but I was going for the layup. Condies said, when you're streaming, makes me want to grind. Hop on the game then. My team's off to a pretty fun start this season. Right now, I'm just trying to play some 5-on-5, five five, get my swagger back, get my groove back a little bit. We're looking pretty good as Rudy Gobert shoots a jumper for some reason. Huh, said Doc, you gotta carry the summer again. I'll do my best, man. I'll do my absolute best. I'm gonna make as much content for y'all as I can. I'm gonna stream as much as I can. And of course, Summer League Basketball starts on June 13th. So coming up really soon. What's up, Ajith? Welcome to the stream. I'm at church, but have an amazing stream. Good to see you're back. Good to be back, Ajith. What's up, man? How are you doing? What's up, native? And what's good, Garrett? Alright, so we get our first win of the stream by 15. Not a bad start. So nine more wins and we get the max number of picks on the draft board. Antetokounmpo says, I'm getting a next-gen console this summer. That's absolutely huge. Next, Are you getting the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X? I have the Series X. I also have the PlayStation, but I don't stream off the PlayStation. Garrett says, favorite NBA player of all time, Carmelo. Favorite NBA player in the league right now. I mean, it's it's Derrick Rose, but like, of course Derrick Rose doesn't really play much and he's a bit older. I gotta go with Derrick Rose, but there's a lot of players in the NBA I like right now. Alright, here we go. Game two. Coming off a pretty convincing win. 
This guy's got a good team. I've heard this Tom Chambers is pretty good. So, we're going to have to watch out. I've heard he's nice. We're going to have to lock in on defense, get stops, run, hit our open shots. I think we'll be okay, but this is going to be a tough game. Ooh, didn't want to shoot that. I was trying to fake right there. I did not want to shoot that. Oh, man. We have a little mismatch in the post, though. I don't know if this guy sees it. Maybe he... Ah, oh, crap. Three seconds. Maybe he did see it. Wemby said, Yo, what's good, Wemby? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Gadget? Where you been at? Busy. I've been busy, man, but it's summertime. I'm done with my classes. Well, not done with my classes, but they're all online this summer, so that's a good thing. And also, of course, I had a lot of work to do since I do have a job. But now this summer, now I'm not in Birmingham. Don't have to worry about that as much. What's up, J210? Welcome to the stream. Don't sleep on Scoot Henderson. Oh, I'm not. I think Scoot's going to be great, too. Ah, late. That's my first time shooting a three with Gobert. All right, Rudy. No, no, I was trying to shoot that. We'll take it, but that was supposed to be a three. Jonas said Ant-Man MVP next year. That would be dope. Ant-Man's come a long way ever since getting drafted. I think he's going to have a great career, too. Dom said, I was so pissed when Derek White made that layup. Man, I can't imagine being a Heat fan. That's got to be mad disappointing. Playing good defense on Marcus Smart, forcing a bad shot. But then, I mean, they just get an easy tip in for the win. We'll live with that floater. That's an awkward shot. This guy is playing well. Breezy said, thoughts on the Warriors. I'm curious to see what they're going to do in the offseason. Miami said it's all Struess' fault. Was it Struess who fell asleep on Derek White? Is he the one to let Derek White get past him and get to the rim? Because I kind of wasn't paying attention to that. I didn't really watch the replays on that. Ooh, that's a good shot. It's a good open look. All right, man. Our defense has been decent. Not great, though. Run this fast break. See if we can get a good shot here. Ah, oh, crap. Another mismatch down low, though. Do a little post spin. Nice. Miami said that was his man. Yeah, I've been seeing some people in the chat saying that it was his man. I just didn't know for sure. Because that, I didn't pay attention to the play enough. I was watching Marcus Smart shoot the three. The next thing you know, Derek White had the ball and he was just in the air going for that putback. Ah, oh, crap. Kind of getting schooled in the paint right now by Gasol. Breezy said the Suns are overrated. I mean, they have a great roster. Their bench could be better, obviously, but if you have KD and Book, like, you're going to be a championship contending team. Even though they didn't quite win the championship, didn't mean to shoot that. Even though they lost versus the Nuggets, they did take two games, losing Chris Paul. I think that they still would have lost the series, even if Chris Paul would have played, but it would have helped, obviously. Chris Paul's getting older, and... The Suns kind of just need to add some depth and maybe replace CP3 with a guy who better suits Booker and KD's games. What's up, Damon? Also, what's up, Joey? Hey, it's good to be back. I know a lot of you guys have been saying it's good to have me back. It's good to be back. I'm glad to be back making content again for you guys. This guy's playing some good defense. This guy's defense is pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. Look at how he's jumping. Getting out there on my shooters. Big shot by Shea, but this guy is making me work on defense. This guy is definitely better than the first dude I played who was hitting all those awkward mid-range shots and whatnot. This guy's making me work. These are the guys we want to play against. Don't want to play versus, you know, cupcake teams every time. We can switch this. We can switch this. That's a tough shot. We'll live with that. Let's go. Dom said at this point it was everyone's fault that we lost. Everyone's fault? I wouldn't say that. But, I mean, there were some plays that could have gone either way that the Heat just didn't come up with. For example, Duncan Robinson had those two wide open threes. But, Duncan Robinson had the two wide open threes. Butler shot poorly. Bam didn't shoot great. Vincent didn't shoot great. Struess gave up the putback. But they still had a one point lead with one second left. Less than one second left. There were milliseconds on the clock. 
Good defense. We're in the lead, but man, this guy is moving on defense so well. I know we're up by four, but this guy is good. What's up, Unfiltered Truth? What's good, man? Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you. Also, what's up, Z? Z said, are you trying to get Zion? Yes, we will get Zion. I don't know when, but we'll have him by the end of the season for sure. Grinding XP doesn't seem that hard, but it'll obviously be a lot easier once they add more challenges. And once they add more players that we can actually buy. Bad shot? Let's run this fast break. Look at Rudy. Terrible pass, terrible pass. I shouldn't have thrown that. And I should have shot that. Great ball movement, but I should have just taken the first shot I had. I Hito. I Turkaloo. Kyle said, do you think the Braves can beat the Phillies tomorrow? I think they can. The Braves are capable of beating anybody on any given night. When they're fully healthy, I'm not sure if there's a team better equipped for winning the World Series, even though there's a lot of talent in the MLB, man. A lot of talent. Yankees been on fire lately. Dodgers haven't been losing many series lately. It could end up being another Braves versus Dodgers NLCS. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. Oh, cut back door, cut back door. Man, Rudy's got to move. Terrible possession. Sakai said, all the dark matters in the splash zone set are so cheap. That they are. I saw some of their prices. Nice dunk. Boston Bros said, do you think Wembenyama can end up being a bust? I think the only way he ends up being a quote-unquote bust is if he, you know, has a lot of injuries. If he's fully healthy, I think he's going to have an awesome career. Like, if he doesn't get hurt too often, if he, you know, can be an Iron Man and play a lot of regular season and playoff games, I think the only way he ends up being a bust is if he is unhealthy. Because, I mean, he's an awesome prospect. But even though I don't love calling people busts because of injuries, if you aren't able to perform because of injuries, then you can end up being a bust. Gobert for three? Woo! This guy is just sitting in the paint leaving Gobert open? Apparently you can't do that. Great defense, Eddie Curry, wide open. Good shot. <laughs> I'll take a white, I guess. What's up, Sean? Welcome to the stream. Dom says, I can't remember the last time I touched 2K. Must have been Endgame 2K21. Endgame 2K21 was a great era for 2K, man. Well, great era for my team in particular. So many great content creators have quit since then, but I remember 2K21 was popping. Everybody was getting views. Everybody was loving the game. There was so much grindable content, so much to do, great players and packs. 2K21, those were good times. What's up, Logan Ramirez? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Alejandro? Good to have so many familiar faces in the building. We have 163 people in this stream right now, so y'all say what's up to me if you haven't already. Let me know how you're doing in the chat. And of course, make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. Every single like helps the stream get out there. Every single like, you know, is big for my channel. So I would love it if you guys subscribed if you haven't already. Talk to me in the chat. And of course, subscribe if you're enjoying the vibes because I'm looking forward to getting back to doing this almost every day. What's up, Ozidius Edits? Welcome to the stream. Damon said, why is Dark Matter Ray Allen so cheap? I've heard he's not very good. But, I mean, I haven't used him, so I can't really confirm or deny that. Maybe I can pick him up and try him out, though. Puff said, Doc, what's going on with the Heat? That's a great question. That's a great question. Because they were looking pretty bad most of the night, but then they ended up going up by one with less than five seconds left. I mean, less than one second left, they were up by one. But they just ended up blowing it, man. Derek White tip in at the buzzer. Just tough luck. I think they can win game seven. I think they can, but at this point, the Celtics have all the momentum. So I don't know if I can bet on the Heat winning game seven on the road in Beantown. It's a tough sell, man. It's a tough bet. Ah, bad defense. Wow, we pushed Jimmer out of bounds. Got bailed out right there. Wyatt said, who you got in the Heat Celtics series? Like I just said, I think I got the Celtics winning in seven now. If I had to pick which team I liked better, I'd probably pick the Heat. 
because my brother's a Heat fan. My brother Noah's a big Heat fan, so for his sake, I want to see the Heat win, but I wouldn't say I'm a diehard Heat fan. If the Celtics win, I wouldn't be that upset. I'm, I'm just excited for the NBA Finals. I mean, my favorite team's already been eliminated, so at this point, I just want to watch some good basketball. I know other basketball purists in the chat agree with that. Oh, Shea should have stayed in the corner. Shea was wide open for a jumper, but he cut in right as I threw that. What's up, Dylan? What's up, John Doe? Welcome to the stream. I see some other guys just joined the stream. What's up, Makai? And what's good, Savior? Welcome to the stream. You know, this game started off really well. I mean, it was a super competitive first quarter, but ever since the first quarter, we've kind of been smoking this man, I'm not gonna lie. We've kind of been killing him ever since the first quarter. Dre said Tatum got clamped by Jimmy Butler. I mean, in that first half, Tatum was rolling, man. Tatum was looking amazing, but in the second half, Tatum barely did anything. He made a big layup off a back cut. He made some free throws. And obviously, Tatum's a pretty good defender, but yeah, offensively is where he's got to make his impact the most. Ah, oh, good defense. Crap. Gotta watch out or this guy might come back into the game. Crap. Puff said, is this limited? This is draft mode, baby. This is draft. If anybody is wondering why I'm playing draft, I'm trying to get back into playing 5 on 5. And my team's not good enough for unlimited yet. So right now, we're just chilling. We'll get our unlimited squad ready later. But right now, we're just chilling and grinding some draft mode. Ooh, I could have shot the jumper right there. Nice drop step. Nice layup. Quinn said, anyone got budget power forward or center options? I've heard Marcus Gasol is a great one. I picked him up yesterday. And also Arvita Sabonis, the hero Sabonis. He's one of my favorite centers in the game right now. I was a big fan of Pink Diamond Sabonis. But man, his Dark Matter is pretty good. Not his Dark Matter, his Opal is pretty good too. Oh, great pass. I probably should have shot that though. Probably should have shot that. What's up, Blake? Welcome to the stream. Miami said Struess is my op now. Man, Struess, he had a decent game overall. I don't remember him scoring much. I think Duncan had the better offensive impact, but obviously Struess is the better defensive player. Zay the Great said Opal Tyson Chandler solid too. I haven't tried him yet, but maybe I should. What's up, Blake? Welcome to the stream. Fanta said, even if my Celtics don't win game seven, I'm still going to praise them for extending this series. You know what? I kind of agree with you on that. I mean, the Celtics, when they were down 3-0, people were asking, like, is this the end for Tatum and Brown? This team has given up. Like, what's this team going to do? Are they going to blow it up and just, like, try to restructure the roster? But now that they've really fought back, we're not seeing as many of those questions anymore. This team is still very likely to make a championship appearance. And even if you don't win the championship, making it to the championship, I think, is a great accomplishment, man. If the Celtics make it to the finals and lose, I think they should run it back. Hopefully Tatum and Brown can keep on improving and getting better. Hopefully they can retain their glue guys like Marcus Smart, Derek White. Of course, Malcolm Brogdon didn't play in this game, so I hope he's, you know, recovering as fast as possible. The Celtics got a good roster, man. They do. What's up, Atlanta? Welcome to the stream. The dude says we need a PJ Tucker card. Is there a really good PJ Tucker card in the game right now? I can't think of one personally. Oza said I miss your videos. I miss making videos. This summer, I should be back on track streaming and making videos. Dallas said Miami's playing like the team they really are now. We overachieved this postseason. Butler's a dog. Bam should be a role player, not a centerpiece. I feel you on that. Also, why is the game lagging so much? Is it lagging? Okay, no, I think we're good. Anyways, yeah, the Heat, they've overachieved for sure. But at the same time, they've come this far. They've made it this far. And they led by one with, you know, very little time left on the clock. They had a great chance to win this game. They didn't win the game, but they gave themselves a chance. I think the Heat have overachieved. I mean, they were an eight seed, but 
They're an eight seed that got hot at the right time. They started hitting their stride at the right time. It's been a truly amazing run. Great shot. Nah, man, the Heat have had a good run. They led 3-0 in this series. I think this Heat team really is legit. And obviously, a lot of their guys like Kevin Love, Kyle Lowry, have really stepped up in spurts this postseason. But Kevin Love didn't play tonight. Kyle Lowry wasn't great tonight either. Gabe Vincent shot poorly tonight, but he played well overall, I'd say. I mean, the Heat tonight were so much better on defense than they were in Game 4. Not Game 4, Game 5. And I feel like part of that is definitely because of Gabe Vincent's pick and roll defense. It is so much better than Lowry's. Atlanta says, I'm rooting for Miami so we can pick up JB. I wouldn't be surprised if Boston keeps JB at this point. I mean, one win away from the finals, I don't think that's a failure of a season, even if you are the Boston Celtics who, you know, want to win championships above everything. I mean, they're tied for being the winningest organization ever. I wouldn't say being one win away from the finals is a failure of a season. Someone's open. Ah, Kawhi was open. And this guy's playing zone, so let's see if I can get some good open looks like this. Look at Shea, baby. What's up, Afshin? Hi, doctor. Haven't seen you in a year. It has been almost a year since I've streamed, but only a few months since I made a video. Gotta play better defense than that. But yes, welcome back, Afshin, and I'm glad to be back making content again. Good shot, Kawhi. This guy's playing that zone defense. He doesn't really want to guard me man to man. CKY said, is Wemby going to have an endgame card? I don't think we're going to see an endgame Wemby, but we're definitely going to see a, you know, a generation next Wemby. YBZ said, hello, Doc. What's up, YBZ? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, I should say, since you were in here yesterday. Ooh, good defense. Crap. Well, not really good defense. I got the open shot. I just missed it. Ah, he's going to make that too. Never mind. We're both missing open shots. Let's move that ball around still. Good ball movement. Great shot. Taye said, yo, what game mode? This is draft. We won our first two games of the stream. Now we're trying to win our third. But yeah, give me that. Ooh, I had that in my hands. Had that in my hands twice. Condi's said online is so laggy for some reason. So far, it hasn't been bad this stream. Thankfully, it hasn't been that bad yet. But you never know. It might get bad out of nowhere soon. This guy's sitting in that zone defense, doing a decent job in it. Ah, I gotta get Eddie Curry out of there. And now this guy's cherry picking too. This guy's got a good strategy. This is how you win games on here sometimes. Play zone defense, hope the shot misses, cherry pick, get the dunk. Man, that was a good shot for Eddie Curry, but I think that was my first time shooting a jumper with him in this stream, so gotta prepare to shoot with him. Let's make some subs. Let's get Simbular in there. Actually, nah. Let's keep Gobert because he can shoot. Let's get LeBron in there at the power forward. JND said, yo, what's good, JND? Welcome to the stream. Nolan said, I think the Nuggets are going to win the whole thing. I think I agree, man. I think I agree. I mean, the Heat played so badly tonight on offense. They shot well from three, but they shot like 35% from the field. And the Celtics, they really didn't take advantage of that. I feel like a team like the Nuggets, they would take advantage. Jokic would attack. Jamal Murray, Michael Porter would attack. Man, Nuggets, they've been dominant. Dom said, about to make it home. Got to head out and get to studying. Take it easy, Dom. And thank you for dropping by. Last year of high school, you got to close it out strong. What up, Harry? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Eyeball Rocky? All right, man, here we go. This guy's still playing zone defense, so got to hit my open shots. This guy's going to give me a whole lot of open shots. There's one right there. It's a mid-range shot, though. That's not a great shot. I can get better looks than that. Good defense on Corver, though. And we get the rebound. That's good defense, but 
Yeah, we can get a better look than a mid-range top of the key, for sure. Pass fake right here, and see if I can draw the defense. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man. I couldn't pass it in time. I stole it, but couldn't make the pass in time. What's up, Brendan? What's up, Emmett? What's up, Raj? Welcome back to this dream, Raj. Dre Drizzy said Jamal Murray would get clamped. By who, though? I mean, Jamal Murray's a pretty good offensive player. I think it's kind of hard to clamp him up. Fanta said JR moment. Yeah, like, I was trying to pass the ball in time, but LeBron got caught in some animation right there. Couldn't make the pass in time. Great shot. Yeah, we're doing a decent job dicing up this zone, but we're also missing some open shots here and there. Raj said, Doc, remember me? Of course I do. You're the Raj Deep. Well, now your name's just Raj. Damon said, can I tell you a joke? If it's not about me, yes. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. JND says, as quickly as I came, I gotta head out, hanging out with my cousin who lives out of town for Memorial Day. Hey, that's respectable, man. Thank you for dropping by, even just for a little while. I appreciate you dropping by, man. Thank you for dropping by and showing love, as usual. Yeah, that was lucky right there, I'm not gonna lie. Easton said, Doc, do you remember me? I do. I remember pretty much everybody in here. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, familiar faces. Pretty much everybody in here, I recognize, but it has been a while, so if some of you guys don't think I remember you, that's fair. I understand that, but I mean, I read the chat so much, I respond to every chat I can. And you see the same names over and over again, you respond to the same people, and you begin to remember names. Taye said, playing Unlimited while watching you. Hey, I hope you win. I hope you get this dub. Keep on grinding. Great defense right there. Yeah, the reason why I'm playing draft mode, like I said earlier, is because I'm trying to prepare myself for Unlimited. My Unlimited team is not looking very good right now because I've taken so much time off from the game. But we're getting back into it, man. We're getting our groove back, pulling our team back together, and before long, we're gonna be ready to play Unlimited and grind for Artist Gilmore. Good shot, Kawhi. Philip said, what up, CP? What's up, Philip? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, V21? Hey, you guys say what's up to me in the chat if you haven't already. Like I said already, there's a lot of familiar faces in here. A lot of people I haven't seen in a long time, so say what's up to me. Drop a like on the stream if you haven't already, and of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new and enjoying the vibe of this stream, because I've been having a lot of fun so far. I've been having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Oh, great pass. Oh my gosh. Nice little backdoor cut by Gobert. This guy fell asleep in the back of the zone. That's some beautiful basketball, and we get the steal. Nice. What's up, Wyatt Justice? Welcome to the stream. Shea's open. Oh, LeBron was open too. We're just taking our time right now, man. No need to rush our offense. Run some time off the clock. Give this guy less time to score. LeBron should have back cut right there, but let's see if I can get a dunk anyway. What's up, baller boy? Welcome to the stream. Atlanta said, are you proud of the Knicks this year? Even though our loss in the playoffs was disappointing, I'm definitely proud of the team. I mean, a lot of people didn't even think that the Knicks would beat Cleveland. A lot of people were thinking that we'd lose in the first round, but ever since we traded for Josh Hart, the guys were playing like real contenders, man. Great defense. I mean, they were scoring pretty well, even though they relied so much on ISO ball. They were still scoring very well. They were playing so well after trading for Josh Hart, and Jalen Brunson, the Heat just couldn't stop him. He's the only player in the playoffs that the Heat just, for a single game, weren't really able to stop and the Knicks gave the Heat some great competition man I mean the Knicks they played pretty well versus the Heat defensively the Heat didn't score over 110 points a single time versus the Knicks it's just the Knicks couldn't score Randall shot terribly for most of the series RJ Barrett had a really bad game six I remember he had some rough games but I mean the Knicks gave the Heat some real competition which I really liked as a fan of the team What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Phillip said the Heat are legit trash for blowing it. I wouldn't say they're trash, but they definitely should have won this game tonight. They definitely should have. 
Preston says, I'm playing 2K right now. Me too. Three wins this stream, but we're still stuck on the bottom board. We're 3-0 every win by double digits, but we haven't made it past the bottom board yet. Harden, Suggs, that's a good backcourt. Gobert, Jaren, that's a good team. That's a really good team. Afshin says, you got any Invincibles? Not yet, but I'm working on it. What up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Zert says, I'm gonna head out. Gotta edit a video. Take it easy, Zert. I'll see you soon. Hopefully. All right. Let's see what this guy's got in store for us. Wide open dunk. Let's see how this guy plays defense. That last guy played zone defense, and we were just hitting a bunch of open shots. The key last game was definitely just hitting our threes. And playing some good defense. We got off to a rough start on that end, but we definitely bounced back. Now we got a little mismatch in the post. Good foul. Chris said it's been a while. Do you remember me? I think I do. There's a lot of Chris's who come through into the streams, but I remember the profile picture. I remember the lowercase name. I think I do remember Chris. I think I do. Good shot, Shay. Emmett said, do you play my career? Not very often, but every now and then I'll play for fun. Now and then, but yeah, not often. Good defense, guys. Let's run. My offense is not perfect, but my defense has definitely been a big help today. No question about that. Ooh, that was dangerous. Good shot by Shea, but that was a dangerous pass. Zach said, how are you enjoying the game? I'm honestly enjoying it this stream. I've been having fun with it today. Maybe that's because I'm winning, but I've been having fun this stream. And yesterday, I had a good time too. I also haven't run into too many, you know, insane lineups. I've just been vibing, getting good shots, playing defense. But I also haven't played versus, you know, Taco at power forward, Manute Bowl yet, um, Yao Ming at center. I haven't played versus any insane teams like that. So maybe that's why I'm actually enjoying playing the game. Also, talking to you guys makes the experience a lot more fun. So, I mean, I'm enjoying playing the game. I've had a good return so far. I've had a lot of fun, and talking to you guys has made the experience even better. Oza said, gotta go, Doc. Have a nice day. You too, man. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. What's up, NL2K? Welcome to the stream. The dude says, you gonna play six clutch time games? I did that yesterday. I got Donovan Mitchell, sadly. Blaze said, just pulled Invincible Shaq from a free pack. That's awesome. I wish I could have done that yesterday, but I got some random amethyst from that free pack. So I wish that was me, but it's unfortunately not. Good defense. Gotta get the rebound, but good defense. Atlanta says, as a Hawks fan, I miss Gallinari so much. He was actually really pivotal in that playoff run in 2021. I mean, he's always been a solid NBA player. Never like a superstar, obviously, but he makes mid-range shots. He can stretch the floor and hit threes. Not amazing defensively, but man, he can fill the basket. What's up, Steve B? Welcome to the stream. Chris Forrest said, glad to see you streaming again. I'm glad to be streaming again, man. I've been really having fun with it so far. I've really missed just chilling and vibing with you guys, and I'm also enjoying playing the game, surprisingly. Iso Ty said, you're what's good, Iso Ty. That's another face I haven't seen in a long time, man. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, I missed a dunk. I could have just tipped it in, but I didn't. Good defense, but mainly this guy is just kind of stinking. What's up, Mr. Epically? Welcome back. Atlanta said, best stretch big. Offensively, he was really good, man. Him, Bogdanovich were huge in that playoff run. And of course, Trey Young was obviously very clutch as well. And Kevin Herter in that game seven versus Philly. Sean says, I picked Boston to win for game seven and beat Denver in the finals. I don't think they're gonna beat Denver if they get to the finals, but man, they have momentum right now and it looks like they're gonna pull off this 3-0 comeback. Cash said, yo, CP, what's good? What's up, Cash? Welcome to the stream. I Snipe said, F Derek White. I'm sure Heat fans are hating Derek White right now, man. He's been a huge shot maker this entire series, especially in these past few games. I mean, didn't he drop a playoff career high recently? 
that was like game five wasn't it and then in game six he makes the game winner like he's been huge for the celtics just like how caleb martin's been insane for the heat ah crap that's not a good shot let's just keep on moving that ball actually gobert has a mismatch we'll post up right here see if i can get an easy two Miami said the Celtics are not pulling it off. I don't hate Derek White. I hate Max Struess. Yeah, Max Struess should have put a body on um, Derek White. He should have boxed him out. Just a lapse in judgment. Monkey said Derek was doing his job. Max Struess wasn't. Yeah, all you gotta do right there is just box out. Just rookie mistake, man. Well, not rookie mistake because he's not a rookie, but just a basic mistake. Sean said, and my Lakers lost versus the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers, I mean, they had a good playoff run, though. It sucks that they got swept. I didn't expect them to get swept, but they had a pretty good playoff run overall, and they made it farther than most people expected. Elephanta said, worst NBA All-Star from this past season? Oh, man, I'm a Knicks fan, so I hate to say this, but it might be Julius Randle. I really do hate to say it. He deserved to be an all-star in the regular season for sure. But man, in the playoffs, he kind of laid an egg. He didn't shoot very well. I know he was playing injured, but I might have to go with Randall. Miami said his Bam out of bio. Bam's also a contender. But now nah, Randall, he played pretty bad in the playoffs. But like I said, he was also playing injured. So maybe I need to take it easier on him because I don't hate him as a player. He was just pretty bad in the playoffs after being really good in the regular season too might I add let's throw in LeBron yeah we're looking good what's up Xander Poe welcome to the stream what's up Caden Damon said should I get Sean Kemp I've heard he's great I think you should because I've heard he's just insane also Shea was wide open man he should have just stayed in the corner Playoff Pool said, why is it so hard to get Rick Smiths? I mean, I've heard he's a really insane card, so of course 2K is making the odds for getting him just terrible. Bob707 said, thoughts on the Celtics? They really showed up tonight, man. It was looking like they were going to blow it, man. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't looking very good for them, but they pulled things together when it mattered most. Derek White with a huge effort play at the buzzer. What a game that was. Atlanta said 25 to 2. Bauk is dominating. We've been pretty good this entire stream. We've played versus a couple pretty good players, but for the most part, we've been in our groove. We've been hitting our shots, playing some decent defense, but we haven't gotten off the bottom ascension board yet. Look at this. Our odds of making it to the top, they're not looking great right now. Four wins in, and we haven't even made it off the bottom board. That's rough. What's up, Davey? Welcome to the stream. YBZ said join the discord let me go ahead and pin that discord link to the top of the chat let me go ahead and do that right before this game starts you guys make sure to join the discord if you haven't already we have a lot of fun in there man and we have a great group of people in there too okay so we're rematching the exact same guy in game five exact same team this should be another win NL says are you doing well on draft mode we're four and oh no losses but we're still on the bottom board we haven't even made it to the second board so in terms of wins and losses we're doing well but in terms of you know getting past the bottom board and making it up to the second board we're not doing so hot because we have to make it all the way to the top board to get um mitch richmond and we haven't even made it to the second one so in terms of that we're not doing too hot Are you on Xbox or PlayStation? I'm on Xbox. I have PlayStation, but I'm on the Xbox right now. Z said, do you have a main team? Yes, I do. I showed off my main team at the beginning of the stream. Right now, we're just grinding, trying to get some players to add to it, to improve it, while also getting some rewards along the way, like tokens and whatnot. Oh, that's a bad shot. I mean, it's not a bad shot. If I would have greened it, if I would have gotten my release a bit earlier, it would have gone in. Good defense. Can we get a rebound, though? Would have been nice if the Heat had gotten a rebound tonight. All right, yeah, this should be another win. 
If we can just put the ball in the basket. Caden said, glad to be in your stream tonight. Glad to have you, man. Caden's an OG. Caden's been around for a long time, and I appreciate him. Shout out to you, Caden. Ice Knife said, F Derek White again. I'm seeing a lot of hate for Derek White. I don't think we should hate Derek White, though, man. He's had a really good series and a decent playoff run. He's been especially good in this series, but for the playoffs overall, he's provided some pretty good stability for the Celtics. And also in the regular season, I mean, he was really big for them. First team all defense, or was it second team? It might have been second team. I thought it was first team, though, but you guys feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But he had a good regular season. Isaac said, what's up, Doc? What's up, Isaac? Welcome to the stream. Ice Knife said, you're wrong for that. How are your Knicks doing in the playoffs? Hey, come on, I was joking. I, it was nothing personal, Ice Knife. It was nothing personal, I promise. Unknown OPS said his hairline. His hairline's not the best. His eyes are also open super wide all the time. But man, he can hoop. He can definitely hoop. No question about that. Oh, good pump fake. James said, my brother in Christ, where you been? I've been busy, man. Life was happening. School, work was really keeping me busy, but it's summer, baby. I'm back to making content and trying to be as consistent as I can. I'm going to do my best. I promise y'all that. I'm going to be as consistent as possible. Great defense. Man, Harden's making some tough shots. What's up, Alex? Welcome to the stream. This guy is playing a lot better in this game than he did in the last game. Last game, we were running him off the court. This game, though, he's making some tough shots. That should be a dunk or a layup. Dallas said Derek White, the second coming of MJ this series. Go figure. Facts. Because everybody was saying that Jimmy Butler was the second coming of MJ first. There's people out there who legitimately believe that... that Jimmy Butler is Michael Jordan's son. Kind of understandably. I don't know if you guys have seen those side-by-side -side pictures of those guys. Retro said, what did I miss? In this stream, you've missed a few wins. We are 4-0, 5-0 if we win this game. And we should. We should win this game. But this guy's making some tough shots. He's also gotten a few buckets that are just too easy. I gotta be better on defense overall. But this should be a win. Should. Should. Damon said, did you read my joke? You sent that pretty early in the stream. I don't think I did. Feel free to send it again. I'll make sure to read it this time. Dylan said, hoping for more spotlights like we had in 2K21. Facts. I mean, I remember those Taco Fall spotlights. I would love to see more spotlights like those. I really would. Dallas says, I've seen the theory, and to be honest, they all add up. And they look very similar. That's what I'm saying, man. I kind of believe that theory. I'm not going to lie. I Snipe said, after a couple more streams, can I become a mod? You have been here for a while, so possibly. That's not a bad idea. I Snipe for moderator. I respect this campaign. I, th I think you're deserving. I'll think about it, though. I already have so many mods, so I'm never that quick to add more moderators, but I'd say you're deserving. I'd say you are for sure. There we go, Hito. Leaner. Unfiltered Truth said Ant-Man also looks like Jordan's son. And both of them, man, they play like Jordan. Even though Ant-Man, he's more explosive than Jimmy Butler is. But offensively, they can make some tough shots. They can both lock in on defense. They're super competitive. They talk trash no matter what. How can you not like those players? Also, I had a wide open dunk ride there. But I kind of just wasted it that's a five point swing i had a wide open dunk but tried to pass out for a three. Oh, look at this buzzer beater though okay so we pass up a wide open three i mean we pass up a layup trying to get a three then we give up a three then we get a three i, I guess it works out dallas said doc is low-key a heat fan he's got all the jerseys and all of his mods are heat fans low-key a heat fan i'm not a heat fan but we talked about this yesterday dallas the heat have such nice jerseys and i love collecting jerseys and the heat have so many likable players so naturally of 
course I have some Heat jerseys. I got a Duncan Robinson um, Miami mashup jersey, the white one. I have a Tyler Hero jersey. My uncle got me a Justice Winslow jersey from back when he was on the Heat. I have a pink D. Wade jersey from the season he retired. The Heat are cool, man, and the Heat have pretty chill fans, too. That's why we have so many moderators in here who are Heat fans, because Heat fans overall seem to be pretty chill. Miami said, please, Doc, bless the Heat. I don't think I have the power to do that. I'm no god. But I wouldn't mind seeing the Heat win. Wouldn't mind seeing the Heat pull this thing off in Game 7. That would be very disappointing for Celtics fans, but I think the Heat do have a real shot. I mean, they've made it this far. Xanax said, what's up? Another stream. Let's go. Yes, sir. We're back again. Back-to-back -back nights with back-to-back -back streams. Good to have you back in the stream, drugs. Bob said, wouldn't you rather see an 0-3 reverse sweep? Bob, I kind of talked about this yesterday. I mean, I'm cool either way. I'm a basketball fan. I'm not really going for either the Heat or the Celtics. If the Heat end up being the first eight seed to go to the finals since the Knicks in 1999, that would be awesome. But also, if the Celtics can pull off history and be the first team to come back down 3-0, that would be awesome too. I'm, I'm just looking forward to watching the finals, man. I just want to see the best basketball possible. Me personally. Jonah said, is Dark Matter John Havlicek good? I don't know. I don't have him yet. We're going to get him. We're going to grind for him for sure. I think he's pretty easy to get. You get him in like clutch time offline, I'm pretty sure. So we should be pretty easy to get. I'm not sure when I'll get him, but I do know we will. Damon said, did Tyler Hero come back yet? He has not come back yet. He might not even come back for the finals, even though originally he was supposed to come back for the finals. All right. So we're finally on the second board with five games left. And we can potentially get 25, 33 more picks. So we have a decent shot at getting Mitch Richmond, but... We got to get to the top board first. Atlanta said the Hawks are so mid. They kind of are, but I mean, they're still a pretty young team. Except for Capella. They have some other veterans too, but Capella's the main old guy. I guess you can say Bogdanovich relatively old too. Gon just said Doc took a while off and is still a sweat in 2K. I wouldn't say I'm a sweat, it's just I'm hitting my open shots and playing good defense. We're 5-0 this stream, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can get to 10-0. Steve Francis, Damian Lillard, Nick Batum, Shaq, Markinen. Not a bad team. Kenneth said, read last. Where is your last chat, Kenneth? Let me scroll up before the game starts. I've scrolled back really far and I can't see it, so feel free to send it again. I'll make sure to read it this time. Damon said, I think Trey Young should go to the Mavericks. I've been seeing so many rumors about Trey Young going to the Lakers. What do y'all think of those rumors? Trey Young to the Lakers. I mean, to be fair, these are the Lakers we're talking about, so we're going to see rumors about everybody going to the Lakers, not just Trey Young. That's a bad shot. That's awkward. I was trying to fake and then shoot like a drop step layup or something, but that was just an awkward shot. Good defense, but terrible first possession. Let's see how this guy plays offense. We've played some pretty good D so far this stream. Let's see if I can keep it up. Dallas said, Dame to the Lakers, Trey to the Bucks. Trey to the Bucks would be interesting. Lillard to the Lakers would be interesting too. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know if the Lakers have the assets to make that trade happen. I am Germs, said welcome back Doc. Hey, welcome back to you too. Good to have you back in the chat. Good defense, but come on, refs. Taco said the Heat got this in seven. I mean, I can see that. I don't think the Heat winning in seven is some insanely, you know, crazy prospect. I think there's a good chance the Heat win this thing in seven. They're a legitimately good team. And they were 
less than a second away from winning tonight. They just had to get a rebound, and they didn't. They had to box out Derek White, and they didn't. I mean, if they box out and don't let him get that offensive rebound put back, they win this game. It's crazy how one little thing or how just one little bounce off the rim can make such a difference. Because if Marcus Smart would have hit, missed that shot off the back rim, it would have just bounced really high in the air. And the Celtics probably wouldn't have gotten a second opportunity. So if he would have just not shot that ball so it rimmed in and out, the Heat probably would be in the finals right now, which is crazy to think about. Sakai says, I wish the media would stop with that everybody to the Lakers BS. I mean, the Lakers are a big market and they're championship contenders year after year. So I don't think that narrative's ever going to stop. But yeah, Dallas said Dame to the Lakers, trade to the Bucks. That would be interesting. I don't know if it'll happen, but it would certainly be interesting. That's a good shot, but I barely got it late. Barely. We played some decent defense. Offensively, we gotta hit shots though. This is probably my worst offensive start to a game this stream. That's a good shot though. What? That was a great release. Excellent release, but not good enough. Dallas said, would you trade away Randall and Brunson for Wemby? Randall, yes. Randall and Brunson, I don't think so. But Randall, if it was just him, yes. Playoff Pool said, if the Heat go to the finals, who do you think is winning, Heat or Nuggets? I gotta go with the Nuggets. I think even if Boston goes to the finals, the Nuggets are gonna win. I mean, they're just such a well-oiled machine. They've been dominant pretty much the whole playoffs. Of course, you can argue they haven't played any team as good as the Heat or the Celtics, but... I feel like they've played some good competition. I feel like they are ready for this matchup versus either team. Sosa said, I think LeBron is going to lead the Lakers and join a new team that are finals contenders. Imagine if LeBron goes back to Miami or Cleveland again. I don't think it's going to happen, but I think that'd be crazy. LeBron left Cleveland, went to Miami, then went back to Cleveland, and then went to the Lakers. Imagine he goes back to the Heat or the Cavs, again, or again again, if we're talking about him going back to the Cavs. That'd be crazy. Oh, come on, why am I getting my releases slightly late? Slightly late. Oh, no, and his free throw is so slow, I didn't know that. Now I know. Oh, I still missed. Yeah, my offense has been terrible this game. Or 5-0 in draft, but if you don't believe me, that's completely understandable. Our offense this game has gone out the window. See if we can get a bucket right here. For a second, I thought this guy was sacking off Shea. There we go. That's a good look. Finally. Harry said Giannis to the Pistons. That would be something. That would really be something, seeing Giannis join the Pistons. They would really have to put together a special team in Detroit or at least make their future look, you know, even more promising if they want to attract Giannis. Giannis going from Milwaukee to another small market? That'd be insane. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I'd love that. Preston said subscribe. You guys listen to Preston. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's been a fun stream so far and it's nowhere near over, so... You guys hang around, keep on vibing with me, and let's keep on winning. And hopefully, let's get Mitch Richmond. Fingers crossed. In the first quarter, we only allowed four points, but we only scored freaking nine. So, we're not looking very good right now. We're missing open shots. We're missing free throws. It's just been a really crappy start to this game, offensively. So, if we can get some shots to fall, then we'll pull away. Oh, crap. Then right there, we had a bit of a mismatch, but couldn't capitalize. We forced the miss right there. Can't get the rebound. Brody said Giannis to the Pistons is nuts. It is nuts, to say the least. That's very nuts, but 
I wouldn't mind seeing it happen. Maybe I'm nuts. Jonah said, where do you think Wemby can go if not the Spurs? I mean, Wemby can go anywhere. I think any team would be happy to have him, but there's no way the Spurs don't draft him number one. There's no way. I mean, he's the steal of the draft. Well, not the steal. He's the prospect of the draft. He is the number one. And why is it lagging? Wi-Fi's been fine the whole stream. All right, here we go. We're good now. Let's get some shots to fall, baby. Good drive. Terrible animation. Wyatona said Spolstra may be out of a job next. I don't think so. I think Miami, I think they love Spolstra too much in Miami. And he is a really good coach. Obviously, blowing a 3-0 lead would really stink. But, I mean, come on. They're not firing Spolstra in Miami. That'd be insane if they did. Because he's been the Heat's coach for so long. He's led them through some tough times. And some good times. When LeBron was there especially. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's pull away in this thing, man. There's no way we should only be up by two. Do a little post spin right here. Man, we got clamped up by Francis on a post spin? Wow. Our offense this game has been trash. Good defense, but trash offense. Atlanta said, Spolstra is definitely going nowhere. Facts. Like Dallas said, Spolstra's like Pop. He's going to be there till he wants to leave. I think he's the best coach in the league, which is kind of insane that considering he's never won any Coach of the Year awards. No, that wrong pass. Crap. My crappy offense continues. Let's see if we can get a stop, though. All right, we play good defense, but give up the offensive board. Let's run. Great shot. Finally. We haven't gotten many looks like that. Jack said, D'Lo, Malik Beasley, and a pick for Dame to the Lakers. Who says no? Malik or a different role player, not Rui. I mean, I don't know. I think the Trailblazers, they're probably going to want more than that for Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, I mean, you can argue he was the best point guard in the NBA this past year. I know a lot of people could argue Curry, and I might agree with that. Curry was great this past season. But Damian Lillard, even though he did miss a lot of games, he was awesome overall. Him and um, Curry were definitely the best two point guards in the league this season. And of course, Shea Gildas Alexander, you can make an argument for him as well. Shea was awesome. Good shot, Kawhi. Taco said, gonna sign out and go to sleep. I hope you get him. I hope so too, man. Take it easy. Thank you for dropping by. Even for just a little while, it's awesome to see you in here, and I'll see you again soon, God willing. That's a bucket. Let's go, Gobert. Finally pulling away a little bit. Steven said, is Zion worth it? I've heard he's really good, and I'm definitely going to go for him, but I wish that we had a better level 40, maybe a taller level 40, even though last season it was Elijah 1 for level 40. It'd be nice if 2K gave us some free reward card who can match up with Yao, Taco, and all those guys. That would be dope. Good shot, Shay. Oh, barely missed it, though. Barely missed it. Jonathan said, who do you think has a brighter future, the Thunder or the Spurs? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Because the Spurs have Wemby, but the Thunder, oh, man, they have an insane amount of prospects lined up. I mean, they have an insane amount of draft picks. And they could honestly trade for anybody. They can trade for any star just because of how many picks they have. And how many, you know, just how many moves they can make with those picks. They have Shea. They have Giddy. They have, obviously, Lou Dort, even though I wouldn't call him a part of their, like, young talent. Like Jalen Williams is and Shea is, for example. But, man, they have some great talent, great draft picks. They're a well-run team with a good young coach. I think I gotta go with the Thunder. Gotta go with the Thunder. Barely, but the Spurs have one Banyama, who's obviously gonna be one of the best prospects ever. He already is. 
NL says, if you win all 10 games and don't get the grand prize, what happens? Hmm, we're going to run it back. I have one more draft ticket, so if we sadly don't get Mitch Richmond on our first run, then I guess we'll run it back. We'll keep the stream going. Oh yes, nice rim run. Nice rim run. I am Germ says they also have Chet. That's a fact. Chet didn't even play this season, and they still almost made the playoffs. Yeah, I didn't even bring up Chet, but he's still one of their young players as well, even though he didn't play this season. He could have, I feel like. All right, cut to the rim, Kawhi. Nice pass out. This guy's defense isn't bad. My offense has just been real crummy, though. Real crappy. NL says, is Richmond really good and tall? Uh, good, yes. Tall, no. I just feel like this is a fun grind and a good way to get, get back into playing 5-on-5. Five five. That was a terrible shot on the fast break. A leaning, mid-range, fade away from the corner on a fast break. That was a bad shot. It went in, though. Brody said, you should just play co-op instead. Co-op, it's 50 wins, right? I mean, draft mode, it could just be 10. And like I said, a big reason why I'm playing draft mode is to just get my groove back playing 5-on-5. Five five. So I'm playing draft for a reason. I'm also having fun with it. And we're getting tokens and stuff along the way, so I can't complain. We have 30 picks remaining. So it would be very nice if I can get to the top board, like in this game or the next one. Gents said, yo, Doc, just finished watching the Sixers-Celtics game. Celtics in seven. Remember your John Giannis 2K21 vault streams? Those were good times. Welcome back to the stream, my man. This guy's got Zach Levine on the squad. He's got Iverson, Shaq. This guy's got a squad. He also has his mic turned on, so let's mute him just in case. NL says, can I see your team? Later, yes. Damon said, Adrian Griffin is such a dub. Hey man, I'm looking forward to seeing how he, how good he is as a head coach. But, I mean, if you're going to sign him off as an assistant from Toronto, then that means you definitely see something in him. I think he's going to be a solid coach. Jack said, will Chet be the only counter to Wembenyama? I mean, don't forget about Giannis. Don't forget about Giannis. Don't forget about some of the other great defensive bigs we have in the league. I think Giannis will be one guy who can guard him, even though it's going to be hard to lock up a guy like Wembenyama at his full potential. Don't forget about guys like Giannis and Anthony Davis, and, you know, uh, even Rudy Gobert. I know you guys might laugh at that, but let's not act like Rudy Gobert is some scrub. He can defend a little bit. By a little bit, I mean he can really defend a lot. Atlanta said his son is even better. Jonathan said heavier people will body him in the paint. I mean, you're probably right about that. I mean, Kenny Lofton was bodying him in the paint when they were playing versus, when it was Team USA versus France. Kenny Lofton was bodying him in the paint. But at the same time, when benyama has got long arms, he's athletic, he's got good reach. It's not like he's going to get bodied every single time down the court. He's going to use his length, he's going to use his athleticism, even though he is probably going to get bodied here and there in the post, it's not like he's going to get bodied and killed every single time because he can use his length, he can block shots, and he's also got speed for a guy who's 7'5". Pretty good speed for a guy who's 7'5". That's why he's such a good prospect. Landon said, what's good? What's good, Landon? Welcome back. Go bear for three. You can't just sit in the paint with Shaq, with Gobert out there at the three-point line. Passionate Vince says, how many have you won? We are 6-0. and 7-0, oh. and oh, if we can win this game. Our defense has been solid. Our offense, not so much. In this game, and the last game, honestly. Last game, we were just running in transition. We pulled away, took like a 16-point lead. It's been our defense that's really catalyzing our runs and our big leads go bear ah crap i've hit a few threes with him but 
I'm not perfect with his release just yet, like I am with Shays. Harry said, who are your top three NBA players? Honestly, my answer to this question, it changes on, on, on like a night to night basis because the best players in the NBA, like LeBron, KD, Curry, all those guys, they can play like the best player in the NBA or a top three player in the NBA on any given night. But I got to go with Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. Not in that order, just as my top three players though. Those three guys are insane. So I got to go Giannis, Embiid, Jokic. Samuel said, glad to see you back streaming again, Doc. Glad to be back streaming again, man. Very glad to be back. And it's good to see you back in the stream as well. Passion Events said, how have you been? I've been doing well, man. Been having a good day and a good night. Been stacking up the dubs in this draft mode so far. A perfect cherry on top of the night would be getting Mitch Richmond, but... If we don't get him, no big deal. Look at that Hito. Leaner. Woo! And this guy's done too. That's seven wins. Braden said Lucas top three. I mean, I think he's top five. No lower than like top seven or eight. But on any given night, Luca can look like the best player in the league. All right. Hopefully we can get to the top board right here. Hopefully. Ball Entertainment said, how you been with life? Life's been good. Life has definitely been good. And I hope it's been great for you as well, as well as everybody else in the chat. Hope you guys have been living, living nicely. All right, man. No top board yet. That's tough. But we still have 25 picks. Atlanta says, I can't believe AJ Griffin doesn't get playing time. He got some playing time in the regular season here and there. He, every now and then, but not often. He was in the rotation for a while, even started some games though, I remember. Alejandro said, do you remember me, Doc? I'm the guy from Colombia. I think I do. The dude says, if you grind co-op, you'll get 5k MT and 100 tokens as well as a lot of packs. You could also get Hero Thurl Bailey at 25. Hmm. Co-op seems like a good idea. Also, King K. 0216, thank you so much for subscribing. I almost missed that alert because I was reading the chat, so let me play it again. King K, thank you for subscribing. Also, everybody who subscribed this stream. AB314, Thomas, Peyton, thanks to everybody who subscribed this stream. I know for a fact, not everybody in this stream has subscribed to my channel yet, so you guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna be streaming like this all summer. Maybe not every single day, but I'm going to try to stream as often as I can, and I'm going to try to be as consistent as I can be. If you enjoy 2K content, if you enjoy chill vibes and live streams like this, feel free to subscribe, and we're going to be streaming, grinding, all summer. Alright, let's go. Game number eight. We've made it this far. Playing versus Clay Thompson, The Glove, Gobert, Vin Baker, and Mello. That's a solid team. I Snipe said co op might be a great way to interact with us. I agree. I agree. Of course, I love reading the chat and everything, but playing co op would also be pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. You might be onto something with that, but I'd also love to see if I can get Richmond tonight because, like I've been saying, I'm trying to get back in my five on five rhythm. How did he make that? That's good defense. Better offense though, apparently. Oh, nice answer. Huh says the heat need me out there. I have a torn ACL. I'm sure even with your torn ACL though, you would have tried to box out Derek White a lot better than Struess did. No, I'm kidding. But man, the heat, they were so close to winning tonight. They're a solid team. I know a lot of people are talking down on the Heat, but they've made it this far, man. They can still win this series in seven. Solo Denji said, what's up, Doc? What's up, Solo? Welcome to the stream. Look at Shay, man. Woo! Ball Entertainment said, I thought the Heat were going to sweep. You're not alone. I kind of did, too. I mean... The Celtics, they didn't get destroyed in the first two games in Miami. They didn't get killed, but they lost. 
and then in game three, it looked like they just gave up in the second half. It wasn't looking good at all. So I, I was thinking that the Heat would end it in four games as well. I, I agree. Like, I thought the Heat were going to sweep. I thought they were going to give up and just, you know, I thought the Celtics were just going to let the Heat, you know, end the series in four. But they won that game four, which was super clutch. They came out and dominated game five. And they were in control of this game pretty much all the way through. I mean, they let, they were down 11-9 in the first quarter, but they ended up winning the first quarter. At halftime, it was a pretty close game. It was a four-point game, but the Celtics were still in control. The Heat were struggling to score, even though they got a little run going in that second quarter. Then in the third quarter, the Celtics really started to find their stride. But in the fourth, the Heat weathered the storm, came back, took the lead. They were in the lead with, you know, seconds left, but the Celtics didn't give up. They fought, and that's why they're here right now. Nice rebound. 10 points for Shea already. And we get a steal. Man, what's going on with these games? We're playing well, but we're also getting lucky with our opponents, I think. Good defense. We'll live with Melo shooting a three. A contested three at that. Good defense. Great defense, actually. Yeah, is he even going to pass? The answer is no. I got to be a bit less careless on offense, but defensively, we're doing our jobs. Shea for three. Woo! Huh, said, do you think 2K will do what they did last year with end games? I hope they do. Well, I mean, I hope that they give us, you know, end games who are easy to get. I hope they give us some end games we can get through, like domination, spotlights, and stuff like that. I hope they give us some easily accessible end games. That would be nice. I just hope they don't force them all on us at one time like they did last year and basically end the game's lifespan early. I hope 2K doesn't do that. Because they did that last year, too. Oh, come on! That's supposed to be a yam right there. Supposed to be a yam. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Good defense. Let's go. Y6 said endgame taco. I remember endgame taco. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a bad shot. There we go. Gotta get my timing right. Ninja Nolan said this dude's gonna quit. I hope he does. We've been zooming through these games kind of fast now. The first few games, we didn't get super fast quits. I think we had to play into the second half in some of those games, but in this one, we're kind of jumping out to a big lead right off the bat, playing good defense, hitting shots, doing our jobs out here. Unfiltered says, I'm ready for a new domination. Honestly, me too. I know that domination's tedious, but I do enjoy, you know, streaming it, grinding it live. And the reward is probably going to be some invincible or endgame player whenever we get that domination. So, I will grind it live whenever we get that domination. Claude said, yo doc, hope you've been well. I've been very well, man. Hope you've been doing alright as well. Jax said, what level are you? I think I'm level 26. I'll check after this um, ascension board to make sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm level 26. It'd be nice if we can get to the top board, though. Man, our luck on these boards has been terrible. We haven't even gotten to the top board yet, and we only have like 19 picks left. So, based on, you know, the odds, we're probably going to have to play again. We're probably going to have to draft another team, but I'm not losing hope yet. What's up, Ray Phantom? Welcome to the stream. What's up, AT and G? I'm doing great, y'all. I appreciate y'all dropping in, showing love, and saying what's up. M. Gillette says, are you doing collector level at all? I gotta make more MT if I'm gonna do collector level because I'm way behind on that. Way, way behind on that. Y6 said, invisible Clyde Drexler will be nice. I'm a fan of Clyde Drexler, man. His Galaxy Opal was pretty good for me earlier in the year. Ninja Nolan said, definitely going to be here for the rest of the stream. I love to hear that. I mean, we're about to finish our 
first board, I mean our first draft, and it hasn't even been two hours yet. So even if we do have to replay draft, even if we do have to draft a new team, it's no big deal. I could have shot that, by the way. We could have gotten an easy layup right there. Now the shot clock's running down. That's a bad shot, but I kind of had no choice. I'll shoot that, though. Bad possession. Atlanta said, peace out, Doc. Gonna head out. Good luck with Mitch. Take it easy, man. And thank you. Luck is exactly what we need. We can go 10-0. We can win every game easily, like we have so far, and just not get Mitch on the top board. So hopefully I can get him early in the stream. Hopefully we don't have to draft another team, but if we do have to draft another team... I'm not going to be upset about that. Good shot, Shay. Woo! Jack said, did you get CJ McCollum? Haven't gotten him yet, but I hope we get him by the end of the season. That's another card that we kind of have to, you know, get lucky to get. But hopefully we do pick him up. We'll live with that. Colton said, got Zion yesterday. He's better than I thought he'd be. Hey, that's good to hear because I'm going to get Zion and I hope he ends up being good. I hope he does. Ali said, my brother, how you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Unfiltered Truth says, you got to flip those far right cards. That's true. Next time we win and get that ascension board, I'll flip some cards on the right. And then hopefully you guys can give me some good suggestions for what cards I should flip on the top board. Because I want to get Mitch Richmond. YTM Beast said, are these streams daily? I want them to be close to daily. If not daily, I want to stream as often as I can and give you all as much content as I can. So I can't say they're quite daily, but they're going to be close. I should have shot the dunk right there, man. We had a wide open layup. And then Gobert was wide open right there, but I threw a freaking turnover. I gotta take the easy shots when they're available. I'm passing up way too many layups and dunks trying to get threes. It's silly. I need to stop. We're playing some decent defense, but yeah, pretty bad defense right here. What's up, Trevor? It has been a while. Welcome back to the stream, man. ATNG said, I'm glad you're back. I've missed these streams. I've missed them too. I have a lot of fun doing these. I'm glad you guys enjoy them too, obviously. What's going on right here? Let's pass out to go bear for a three. I don't know what was happening right there. This guy just flopped. And I don't even think he was trying to take a charge. Kenneth says, I'm just grinding and lurking. Are you going to stream tomorrow? I think tomorrow I might take a day off. Actually, I don't know. I kind of do want to stream tomorrow, but I don't know what I'm going to do on the stream yet. I might just chill and grind some XP. Or I'll play some clutch time. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll hop into Unlimited, try to get Artist Gilmore. There's a lot we can do, but I was thinking of taking an off day tomorrow and then streaming after that Heat game 7 on Monday. That's what I was thinking. I think I'll take tomorrow off and then stream after game 7. Ali said, how's life? Life's been good, man. Hope it's been good to you, too. Kawhi said, you back? Yes, sir. I wouldn't say I'm back and better than ever, but I'm certainly back, and we're making content again. I'm going to be streaming, posting shorts, and trying to post some videos every now and then, too. Your Mama Sweat says I'm grinding to level 38 right now. I'm level 37. Not bad at all. Hopefully you like Zion once you get him, because sounds like you're going to have him pretty soon. Man, I just can't hit a shot with Eddie Curry. Let's get Eddie Curry out of there. Let's get LeBron in there. I don't think I've hit a single jumper with Eddie Curry yet. He's playing good defense. He's rebounding well, but he's not been scoring much. I did not mean to shoot a fader right there. Man, we're not playing very well on offense. Thankfully, we're clamping up. B. Mundell says, get artist. He has a great behind the back. You know what? Not a bad idea. And it's only like 6,000 points to get him. 6,000 unlimited points. That's not bad at all. All right, nice. And one. Am I going to make the free throw, though? You'd be surprised. My free throw shooting this stream has not been great so far. My three-point shooting has been way better. 
I've started to time my free throws better, but for whatever reason, I mean, I've started to time my threes better, but for whatever reason, free throws haven't been falling. The dude said there was an invincible Mitch Richmond. Was there? I can't remember. All right, just like Unfiltered said, let's flip some of these cards on the right side. We have nine picks, eight picks now. Can we at least get to the top board, man, please? Can we at least get there and make some picks on the top board? Because it's not looking very good right now. My gosh. Are we even going to have 10 picks on the top board? Are we even going to get to the top board? We have five picks left. All right, we're on the top board. We're going to have at least 15 picks. You guys let me know which card to flip. You guys list some numbers and let me know which cards I should flip because this is our chance to finally get Mitch. Are we going to get him right here? Probably not, but y'all let me know which cards I should flip. Give me some good luck. Give me some good vibes. Z said 24 for Kobe. Always a good option. This is 18, 27, 24. A good pick. Good pick. Kenneth said four corners. Four corners also a good option. 1,000 MT, not bad. We'll go to the bottom right corner now. We'll come back to those other two corners later. I Snipe said top right. Jonah said 27. Man, not 27. One more pick left. Brody said 9. We already did 9. Smiley Rebel said 68. I promise. Okay, 72, 71, 70, 68. I'll take 5 tokens, but man... If we win this game, we have at least 10 picks. Maybe we'll get some extra picks on the top board, but man, 9 and 0, oh, and we only have 10 picks on the top board. So if I had to guess, we're probably going to have to draft another team. But if we don't, we'll just chill, maybe play some games online with Mitch Richmond, and yeah. Smiley Rebel, you let me down. M. Gillette said right in the middle. We'll try right in the middle after our next win. We only need to win one of our next three games. We're 9-0, and oh, so I like our odds. James Harden, De'Aaron Fox. Who else he got? Bosch, Scalabrine, Deontay Burton. I think we have the better team. We've drafted a pretty good squad. Like I said at the very beginning of the stream, not my best draft, but not the worst draft either. It definitely helps that Gobert can shoot. He can lock up in the paint. Our team's pretty good. This guy's got a decent team as well, but I'm not too worried. If we can just clamp on defense, we're going to be fine. Right there, we force a bad shot. Let's run. Graham said, what up, CP? What's up, Graham? Welcome to the stream. Ninja Nolan says he should have done 69. Honestly, maybe I should have. Because 68, 69, they're right next to each other. And we all know 69 is the magic number. We'll do 69 next time we get to the top board. We got to win this game first, though. Great defense by Gobert. But Bosch gets it right back. Jack said, did anybody else's grind begin yesterday? Um, I don't know. You guys let me know in the chat. Did your grind begin yesterday? Or did you start playing my team earlier in the season? Because I started playing yesterday. All right, Rudy. Welcome to the stream, though, Graham. NL said 10 and 0, maybe. Maybe. This guy, they don't seem to be that bad, but you never know. We've played versus some players this stream who I thought were pretty good in the beginning, but then we just kind of started destroying them as the game went on. We haven't played a single closed game yet this stream. Every game has been pretty chill so far, but you never know. This guy might turn out to be pretty good. Oh, man, I just can't shoot with Eddie Curry. I haven't hit a single jump shot with him yet, so we're going to sub LeBron back in. Oh, steal that, steal that. Crap. Man, got to get back on defense. And this guy's full court pressing. He's trying to put some pressure on me. Smart decision. Oh, wow. And he forces a steal somehow. Tough. Good defense, though. Jack said, are you getting artists? For sure, we're gonna get them eventually. I just don't think I'm ready to play Unlimited yet. My team's not good enough, and I haven't played 5 on 5 my team in forever, so right now, the reason why we're playing some draft is because I wanna play 5 on 5 I wanna get my groove back, so 
We'll play Unlimited eventually, but I'm definitely not ready to face Taco and Yao yet and Manute Bull and all those guys. It's going to be a sweat fest, and I don't know if I'm ready for it. In fact, I know I'm not ready for it. Nick says don't play Unlimited. It is absolutely miserable. Trust me, I've heard. I've heard and I've seen, because I still watch people's gameplay videos here and there. I know it's bad. Trust me. Alright, Kawhi, get a dunk. Get a dunk, Kawhi. Nice. Hurry said Doc is back. Yes, sir. I'm back. And we're playing pretty decently today, too. 10-0 if we win this game. Welcome back to the stream, Hurry2K. Devin said love the no money spent videos. I appreciate you, Devin. If you love the no money spent videos, hopefully you love these no money spent live streams too. The one yesterday was pretty good, and this one's been pretty fun so far as well. Ah, I wanted that leaner. I did. Is this guy leaving Gobert open? No way. No way you're leaving Gobert open. We've actually been hitting threes with him. NL said do number eight. Sounds good. We'll do number eight. We'll do number 69. Sounds good to me. All right. Good defense. Gobert's already down the court. That's going to be a free throw and possession. All right. We're finally hitting some free throws. Ali said, how tall are you? Six feet on the dot. Kenneth says, I'm walking off for the night, bro. Hey, take it easy, Kenneth. Thank you for dropping by. You're awesome. And hopefully I see you again soon. Ninja Nolan says, I have a goal for you. Get Dennis Rodman and drop 69 points with him. I heard you get Zion immediately if you do that. Really? You jump straight to level 40 if you do that? I had no idea. Terrible possession. Terrible possession. I throw it away. I forgot this guy's full court pressing. And we give up the wide open three. Thankfully, we get the dunk back. But this guy is in that full court press playing hard. Can't fault that. At least he's not giving up. Yet. Nice. What? No way we missed that. No way we missed that. Was here said, Doc, please come back. I'm back. I am back. Stewie says, I see Doc. Instant like given. Hey, you guys be like Stewie. Drop a like on this stream if you haven't already. I appreciate you, Stewie. Welcome to the stream. And thank you for the like. You guys be like him. Drop a like if you haven't already. Say what's up to me in the chat if you haven't already. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I haven't said that in a long time, but the channel's growing. We're getting close to 49.3 thousand subs, which means by extension, we're also getting close to 50,000. You guys drop a like, show some love. Talk to me in the chat too, since I try to respond to everybody. It can be tough sometimes when I'm focused on the game, but I'm doing my best. I promise y'all that. Okay, bad possession, but we're up by eight. We gotta play better defense though. 16 points already. Ninja Nolan says, I'm not kidding. I got Amethyst Zion after I did it. That's fair. You didn't specify whether it was the Invincible or the Amethyst. That's fair, but I think I'm still going to try it. 69 points with Rodman. Sounds like a fun challenge. All right, LeBron, let's slow it down. Slow it down. Give it to Shea and go to work. Or Turkaloo. Turkaloo's got the hype mismatch. Not anymore. But let's see if I can get to the rim and get a little layup. Or a floater right here with Gobert. That works too. I snipe said 42 clutch time wins so far. That is mighty fine. That's a lot of wins. Pretty good start to your clutch time grind. Nice post spin. Good defense. Crap. I thought I was ready for that cut to the rim. Obviously not. Sean said, "You have Zion Williamson in my team. I have I have a Zion Williamson. I don't have the invincible one, but I think I have like a sapphire or a ruby zion i don't have any of the good ones though sadly but i'm gonna get a good one eventually i promise you that ninja nolan said what's the first invincible card you're gonna get for no money spent 
it's probably gonna end up being Zion. I know that's kind of unfortunate because he's the level 40 guy. I know you guys would rather me go for like someone like Shaq, but it'll probably end up being Zion. And of course, we'll try to save up MT to get other invincibles too. All right, we missed that free throw, but we do have a double digit lead, so it's not the end of the world. Ugh. Kenneth says, logging back in, got Gilmore. He's the truth. I've heard he's awesome. He could definitely be an asset to my team, so we're going to get him for sure. When am I going to start playing Unlimited? Don't know, but we will play Unlimited, and we will get him. Ooh, I wanted to go for the standing dunk, but I thought it might be a dangerous move. Lane's wide open, though. Nice pass to the wing. Nice fade away by Shea. Ooh, barely missed it, though. Crap. Harry said, when do they drop new rush cards? I'm guessing we're going to get some new ones on Tuesday. Tuesday. Isn't that usually the day for new rush cards? Or I guess it's going to be the day for new rush cards. Oh, it's lagging. Come on, come on, game. I don't want to make excuses, but the lag is the reason why I turned it over right there. We got it back, but that was some bad lag. Nice spin. Kenneth said the unlimited streets are sweaty. Yes, yeah, see, that's why I don't think I'm ready just yet. My team's not good enough yet, I don't think, but to be fair, I do still have some good guys on the squad. It's not like my team is trash. Maybe I'm more ready than I think I am. Oh, get that ball. Should have been a fast break. Ninja Nolan says, whenever I play Unlimited, I cry. So I'm not going to get him. Yeah, man, I've heard Unlimited's tough. You got to be mentally strong for that. You got to be mentally prepared. You got to have a good team. And yeah, you got to be ready to play versus some dogs out there, man. Some good teams and good players. Great defense. Man, he almost got that off. Jack said, honestly, Unlimited is sweaty. Oh, we know this. Trust me. We know this. We've known this for years. Ooh, I was hoping for a back cut right there. Let's just move that ball around, try to get some good looks. This guy's off-balling with Bosch and gives up a wide-open layup. Ooh, I could have stolen that. YTM says, Unlimited is sweaty, but I'm sweatier. So you're built for it, is what you're saying, pretty much. I respect that. You're built for the unlimited grind. Good shot, Kawhi. The Claw. What's up, Paradox Predator? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing all right, having a good night. We're looking pretty good right now, 15 point lead. Louie said, yo, what's up? I haven't seen you stream in a minute. It has been a minute, bro. It's been a long time. It's been months since I've actually made some 2K content, but it's also been pretty long since I've streamed. It's been a while, but I'm back. As Kawhi throws it down again. Kawhi's looking pretty good out here, man. Hit a three last possession, got a dunk right there. And I'd say he's playing some pretty good defense, even though he's not guarding any of their quote unquote stars. Paradox said, we all miss you. I missed y'all too, man. I missed y'all too. I'm glad to be back playing the game again. Man, full court press forces the turnover right there. That's something I didn't miss though. I missed y'all. I missed streaming. I missed creating content. But I did not miss the sweat of 2K. Let's hold the ball, man. I don't want to give this guy any more shots. If he fouls me, he fouls me. But I think we can get a good open shot right here. And we do. And we do. Two seconds left. Hopefully this guy doesn't get some wide open bucket. Yeah, we're good. If we win this game, we have 10 picks on the top board. I honestly don't think we're going to get Mitch Richmond on this try, but might as well go for it, man. I'm not just going to give up on it. All right, here we go. Second half starting. This guy is still in the press. This guy's in the press, but I'm not really worried about it. Leaving the king wide open? Bad idea. 
Maybe we can make this guy quit. Ganja Reaper said Hito is him. Hito Turkaloo is pretty good, man. And I don't want to sound too much like DBG, but his leaner is insane. Oh, I should have just shot that with Kawhi. I almost turned that over all because I passed it. I didn't think this guy would expect the pass. I thought he'd be surprised by the pass, so that's the only reason why I threw it. I thought he'd jump on the initial shot. I was wrong. Daniel said, what's up, CP? What's up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. Jay Gilgis Alexander is also him. Welcome to the stream, though, Daniel. Paradox says, I got Dark Matter coach Steve Kerr and CJ from The Ascension. Nice. That's very nice. I haven't gotten anything really good from The Ascension yet, but hopefully we can get Mitch Richmond, and hopefully we can also get a column before the end of the season. Oh, come on. Why is Guy Labreen killing me so much? Man, LeBron can't stop him. For, so, for whatever reason. I guess Guy Labreen really is the GOAT. Jack says, Doc, are you in a league? A 2K league? No. A summer basketball league? Yes. If that's what you meant. Gobert with the jumper. Woo! Gobert's been shooting the lights out this stream, man. He's been huge for us. Good defense. Scalabrine kills me again. I was right there on him with Kawhi. This Galaxy Opal Scalabrine is really tough, though. Crap. That's off. Larry Hughes is a good budget card. I agree. I tried him yesterday, and he is pretty good. All right, finally we get a stop on Skylar Breen. Finally we force him to miss. It's about time. It's about damn time, as LeBron would say. Nah, 24 point lead. We should be good in this one. I'm not that worried about this game, but you never know what can happen. How's that a contest? Let's make some subs. My guys are getting kind of tired. I haven't had to make many subs this stream because we've gotten so many early quits, but... Let's make some subs this game. It would probably go a long way. Hedo Leaner. Let's sub him out too. Let's get Josh Giddy in there. And let's get Mac McClung in the game. I mean, we're up 26. So we might as well sub in Mac. Great defense. And we force the turnover. If we can hold on to this 26 point lead for the next 5 minutes, we're 10 and 0. What's up, Cohen? Welcome to the stream. Jack said, who's your best player in my team? Who is my best player? Who is my best player? Let me think deeply about this. If I had to pick one, I think I gotta go with that Dark Matter Jonathan Isaac. If I had to pick one. Ooh, Mac. I got Dark Matter Jonathan Isaac. I have those three Dark Matters who came out yesterday. I have Dark Matter Carmelo. I have Galaxy Opal Sabonis, who's really good. That hero Sabonis is a beast. I have Galaxy Opal Ogalskis. I have some good players, but I haven't used all of them that much. So I really don't know who my best quote unquote player is. All right, can we go two for one? Oh yeah, we can. Gobert's wide open, but he didn't run to the rim for some reason. Oh crap. And then he shot that slow animation layup. That's just, as Wilson Sai would say, absolutely pathetic. What's up, Alexander O? Drugs like Xanax said, no Devin Booker yet. Unfortunately, no, not yet. We're gonna get him though, hopefully. Don't you get him from the pickup challenges? I'm on the second ascension board for the pickup challenges, but haven't played them that much. Let's sub LeBron out of there. Let's get Eddie Curry back in. See if I can make one more shot to end this quarter. McClung! Ooh, I got a good look. His shot's fast, though. 2022 NBA champion said, Glad to see you back, Doc. Glad to see you too, Mr. 2022 NBA champions. We have 172 people in here, which is very good for a stream at this time of night. Especially considering I'm just now starting to stream again. I really appreciate you guys tuning in 
we now have 175 people. Everybody who's in here, thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you for helping make this stream great. I've been having a lot of fun so far, and I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. Hope you guys have been having a good time tonight. And if you're new to my channel, say what's up to me if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to see more live streams and content just like this. It's like this every time, man. I have a lot of fun with these live streams, and you guys always make them great. Great pass. Oh, Gobert was open. No, I was pre-shooting. I thought McClung was going to throw the pass. I thought Gobert was going to catch the ball, and I was going to dunk it with him. He was wide open, but <sighs> I was holding down the buttons a little early. I shouldn't have done that. That was just a silly play. And right there, I could have shot that with Curry. We have a mismatch. We're right by the basket. I'm making things too hard. YTM Beast says I'm already subscribed. Y'all be like YTM Beast, man. Y'all be like him. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Join Doc Nation today. You can have that. Oh, wow. He missed it. I'm surprised this guy hasn't quit. This is my first time making it to the fourth quarter this entire stream. I'm surprised this guy hasn't quit. Ninja Nolan said, people who have been subbed since 2K21 are dubs. I completely agree. Shout out to everybody who's been subbed since the NBA 2K21 days. Shout out to the OGs, but also shout out to any new viewers we might have in here as well. Terrible turnover. Like I said though, shout out to everybody who's subbed to the channel. No matter how long you've been subscribed, I appreciate all of you. We're on the road to 50,000 subs, getting closer every single day. At this point, we're just waiting for this game to end. Jack said, do you stream every day? I used to stream super consistently, but then I got really busy, didn't have time to make content or stream anymore, but now I'm trying to get consistent again, and my goal is to stream as often as I can. Maybe not every day, but I will let you guys know when I'm gonna stream. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I make announcements on there for when I'm gonna stream. And I'm also gonna start posting updates on YouTube, on my YouTube page, on my community page. So really, even if you don't follow my social media, which you don't have to do if you don't want to, I think I'm gonna try to post updates whenever I'm gonna stream. It would be nice if you followed me on my social media, but that's definitely not a requirement. If you don't do that, I'm not going to cry about it. Ninja Nolan said, we appreciate all the subscribers. That we do. That we do. You guys are awesome. Wyatt says, I've been here since 21. I remember. I've, I've been seeing that name for a while. Ah, I gotta steal that. Gotta steal that. It's in my hands. Ninja Nolan says, I heard... If you win 420 to 69, you get Diamond Zion Williamson. I don't think I'm capable of doing that. This guy is scoring way too much. I don't think I'm getting 420 points before he gets 69. But you never know. Ooh, McClung. BLT said, do you have any invincibles? Not yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting those invincibles. We're going to get Zion before long. And maybe we'll save up some MT too to get some Invincibles. Maybe I'm going to start sniping. I haven't done that in forever. It's been forever since I've sniped. Curtis said, just got Zion. Hopefully he's good. I've been seeing most people say Zion's better than they expected. McClung! Jack said, why do you want Richmond? He's an easy dark matter to get. And I like playing draft. Well, really, the main reason I'm playing draft is because I'm trying to get 5-on-5 five five practice before I play Unlimited again. I also like Mitch Richmond. And you gotta play with players that you like. Daniel said you should do a sniping stream. I'll think about it. I've done sniping streams before. They didn't go badly. But I prefer playing the game. Sniping is so meticulous. It's so time-consuming. I don't hate doing it, but I prefer playing the game. Because I do like basketball, after all. Jack said, who's your favorite player of all time? Gotta be Carmelo. 
He's one of the first players I ever watched play basketball, and he's the reason I like the Knicks. Gotta go for Melo. Oh, crap. Terrible inbound turnover. At this point, I'm just not paying attention at all. Thankfully, we have a good lead. All right. Let's just run the clock out. Let's just give that ball to Giddy and run the clock out. Just going to hold the ball here. I could win by 40. I could drive baseline and get that dunk, but we're not going to do it. We're just going to pass it around, let the clock run out. This guy's jumping around. He thinks I'm going to shoot. Well, I'm not. Ooh, thought I was going to shoot that. Nah. We're going to be sportsmanlike and hold the ball. I am germs, said Kobe's my favorite of all time. He's in my top three. My top three favorite players ever are Carmelo, D. Rose, Kobe. I grew up watching those guys. Flash Gamer says, are you sad or happy that Carmelo retired? He had a great career, man. I mean, 19 seasons, 19 years in the league. He had a great career. But I do wish he got a farewell tour. That's the one thing I don't like. The one thing that doesn't sit right with me about Carmelo retiring is that he didn't get a farewell tour. But awesome career. I really enjoyed watching him play. And just good for him for having an awesome career. Ninja Nolan says, pick... 4, 20, and 69. Okay, here's number... Where is 20 at? 23, 22. Here's 20. Number 69. Number 69 is right here. We're getting a lot of MT, but... No Mitch Richmond. No Mitch just yet. Let's go 75. 80, 79, 77, 75. Jack said 12. I think we should make some picks in this bottom left corner first. Kenneth said corners. We'll go with the last corner. One pick left. It's not looking good. Callie said lucky number seven. Why not? Man, this was just a bad run because we didn't even get to the top board until our ninth win, but I'm cool with playing one more draft. The stream goes on. We didn't get Richmond right there, but... I could tell that we weren't going to get Richmond right there because it took us forever to even get to the top board. So we'll play through one more draft. Ooh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like those first picks though. How much does it cost? How much MT to buy another draft ticket? Because I'm not a big fan of those first few picks. I'm not going to lie. We had some pretty good luck the first time around, but... I don't know if I'm a fan of some of those picks. Z said 21k. 21k is not bad. I guess. Hmm. We'll see how the rest of the draft goes. And El said, did you not get the grand prize? Sadly, no. It only took two hours to get to the top board, though. That's why I like playing draft. It didn't take us long at all to get all the way to the top. Two hours. Less than two hours, actually, to make it to the top. But yeah, I'm not loving how this draft is going, so I think we're going to repick. That's what I'm thinking. Sadly, we didn't get Mitch Richmond the first time around, but I'm cool with drafting again. I don't want to spend too much MT on draft mode, but I I'm cool with redrafting. All right. Yeah, not the best draft right here. Even though we did get Mobley, Larry Hughes off the bench. Our team's actually not that bad. I just think we can do better. So, yeah. Silent Success said, dude's going to be here a while. We're going to redraft. We're going to play through one more draft. If we don't get um, Mitch Richmond in that draft, we're going to call it a night. What if we get him right here? Not going to happen, but would have been crazy. All right. Let's play one more draft. Hopefully this time we draft a better team. Because our first draft was actually pretty good. Gobert was a big help. If we can even get him again, I'd be happy. Okay. You know what? That's not bad. I'll take Granger, and I'll definitely take Gobert. 
Obviously, I'd really appreciate a better point guard than Arena's. If he ends up being our PG, that might be kind of rough. But I'll take Granger. I'll take Gobert. And hopefully we can get a swingman who can play the shooting guard and the point guard or the small forward and the point guard. We'll see. Colin Sexton, DeRozan. Eh. Once again, probably the best guys we could have gotten. YTM said the pure dedication he has to say just two hours. Yeah, just two hours. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not loving our team, but I'll take Gobert for sure. If we can get somebody who plays power forward and point guard, though, that'd be, that'd be insane. I'll take Giannis. And, oh man, Jaron Jackson, I think I gotta go with him. Yeah, man, I'll definitely take Giannis. Payne LOL said the doc is back, hey, and I'm glad to be back too. Welcome to the stream, Payne, it's good to have you back. I've missed you. We'll take DeMarcus Cousins, uh, we'll take Kevon Looney. Eh, I'm not a big fan of this team. Oh, Herb Jones would have been nice. I agree, Monkey. The team's not great, but I think it might be good enough to get the job done. Actually, I don't know about that. We have DeRozan who can play shooting guard. We have Kelsey Plum as our coach. Yeah, I don't love this team. I don't, but I feel like we can still win 10 games with this team. I like what we have here in the starting lineup. I wish I could move Granger to the two guard, but we'll put DeRozan here. We'll put Sexton here. We have three pink diamonds off our bench. No, two pink diamonds and an opal. Eh, I really don't love it. I don't love it that much. But we played so well in our first draft run. Maybe this team can surprise us. Maybe. Keep pounding said Cavs in seven. Ninja Nolan says I'm getting vibes back to last year when you were streaming in the summer. And it's like 1 a.m. Facts. And this stream's gonna go on for another two hours at least. I wish we had Turkaloo on this team. I wish we had, you know, the same team we had last time, but we'll see what we can do with this squad right here. Jack said top of the morning. It is 12.53 a.m. 1.53 Eastern. Forgot about that. Didn't even realize it. Mo Bamba, Paul Millsap. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough, man. Like Monkey said, Giannis is going to be crucial. Gobert is going to be crucial. Granger's going to be important. This is not going to be e as easy as the first run. Definitely not as easy as the first run. Orange Savvy says you're playing me. Good luck, my man. Good luck. If you want to quit and give me the win, feel free. Kidding. Let me go ahead and mute you, though, because I don't have my stream audio or my game audio on, so I don't want it to be too loud. All right, good start. We get a mismatch in the post, and we get a two free throws. All right, let's go. Yeah, this could be a good game here. I don't love having Sexton at point guard. Having Turkaloo at point guard was just perfect, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of having Sexton in there. Turkaloo was such a mismatch. What's up, Marvin? Welcome to the stream. Wyatt said I got Sean Elliott out of the vault. Hey, that's a massive dub. I've heard that Sean Elliott's not bad. Do you get him from Triple Threat? Yeah, it must be Triple Threat since you said the vault. Even though the vault is a thing in Unlimited too. Can't forget about that. Wyatt said, no, no, no one says I'm going to bed at 3 a.m. tonight because of the dock. Hey man, hopefully, oh actually it's probably going to be 3 a.m. because it's going to be a long stream no matter what. Not sure how long, but... Yeah, this is going to be a long grind for sure. Just because it takes like two hours minimum to make it to the top of the draft board. Let's go, Granger. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. That's that's lucky. I didn't mean to shoot that. Nice job, Giannis. Let's see if I can get a steal. Would have been nice. Let's keep on clamping up. We've played pretty good defense the entire stream. No matter who the opponent's been. Good defense, apparently. Let's go. 
Nolan says, gotta love the long late night doc streams. Facts. These streams are great. I can't say I don't enjoy doing them. They're a grind for sure, but you guys make them a lot of fun. YTM said the unlimited vault is Rick Smith's. That's right, that's right. The online vault slash wheel spin, it is Rick Smith's. I appreciate the reminder. Elon Davidson. I really hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation, man. Shout out to all the new subs we've gained this stream, man. I've lost count of how many we have, but we've gained a lot of new subs this stream. All right, this guy's in zone. So let's just move the ball and try to get good shots. That's a decent shot right there, but we can do better. Good foul, good foul. Terrence says, have you tried KPJ? Yes, I have. I have tried him, and he's not bad. Justin said, how much longer are you staying live? Hmm. Until we finish this second draft board. Until we finish our second draft. Hopefully, we win 10 games. If we don't, that'd be kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Because we just went 10-0, I would love to do it again. But our team's not as good as it was the first time. This guy's playing a little bit of zone, it looks like. Hopefully I can hit my jumpers, though. Giannis was wide open for that. Giannis was wide open and missed that. What's up, Spontaneous J? He said, good times here again. That's a fact. Good times are back. If I can hit my jumpers, good times will especially be back. There we go, Granger. Keep pounding, said Bronze the Goat. He is pretty damn great. I think he's my goat, too. But I always got to recognize Jordan's greatness, too. That's off. Let's go. I can tell this guy's not bad, but so far we're doing a decent job. Double-digit lead in the first quarter. If we just keep on playing good defense in the paint and, you know, don't give him too many open jumpers, I think we're going to be okay. Good defense by Sexton. We're right there. Good defense so far. Great defense. Nice. Gotta get the rebound, though. Gotta get boards. Giving up way too many offensive boards. This guy's got a tall duo right there of Mo Bamba and Gobert. Ah, and then he gets a dunk. Justin says, I missed your last live, but I'm happy to see you back. And I'm happy to be back, man. It's good to be back making content for you guys again. Oh, man. Look at that mashing by Sexton. If we just get rebounds, we're going to be all right, I think. Just got to grab boards. I think it's that simple. Now Gobert is out leaking. And, okay, bad shot, but I didn't have any other choice. Nick Feeney says, I lost four unlimited games in a row. Please cheer me up. Nick, it happens to everybody. Everybody has their cold patches, rough games. Everybody goes through losing streaks. Don't be too shaken by it, man. Don't be too shaken. You're going to be all right. Orange Savvy says, I'm horrible. Don't talk down on yourself like that. I was just giving an inspirational speech to Nick Feeney. I wish I had your team, though. I'm not going to lie. I wish I had Mo Bamba and De'Aaron Fox. Oh, crap. Got to steal that. Good defense. Man, giving up too many open runs to the rim. And offensive rebounds. And almost turned it over right there, too. Lane's open. Let's see if I can get to the rim with Sexton. All right, man. Stops on defense is the key. Playing pretty good defense on this guy, but... Giving up a few too many rebounds and easy buckets. Hunter said, can you please shout me out? Yes. Shout out to Hunter. Oh, crap. I was trying to pass. A second too late. Keep Pounding says, I've changed my goat pick to Jawan Morgan. What about Jawan Howard? Thought he was the goat. Kidding. 2022 says, as a professional LeBron hater... Curry is better. James' son Curry is better. 
LeBron's great, though. I mean, both players are great. Gotta remember. Even though you can only have one GOAT, there's a lot of guys who you can argue are the GOAT. Gotta remember that. Oh, I meant to pass that. Granger wide open in the corner. Defense over helped. Hopefully I can hit both of these. I have not been great at free throws this stream, but we have been a little bit better over the last however many games. Thankfully. Gotta get stops. This guy is kind of killing me with that pick and roll. He's killing me on the offensive glass. Gotta be better. Good defense in the paint. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's good defense. And we get the rebound. That's rare. That's very rare this game. Getting rebounds has not been a big theme for us. Come on, Giannis. Come on. You're wide open. How was that even a white? I thought that was a green. I thought that was a perfect release. The fact that it went in is just... That's so lucky. Spontaneous J said, what do you eat today? Man, I had some leftover pizza this morning. For dinner, I had some salmon. I had some good food today. I had pizza, salmon. Had some poppy seed chicken earlier as well. I had some good meals today. Alright, Giannis. We'll take that. Let's get Jaron Jackson in there. Oh, crap. Bad defense. Jack said in the alternate universe, Anthony Bennis, the best player. That's got to be some crazy alternate universe, man. I wonder who's the worst player in that universe or the biggest bust in that universe if Anthony Bennis, the best player. That's got to be some alternate universe. Good defense. Come on, man. Come on. Great defense. Yon is ahead of the pack. Should be a dunk. We'll take an open three, though. We'll take a three. Lucas said, what game mode is Mitch Richmond in? He's in triple threat co-op, and he's also in draft mode, which we're grinding right now. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering why I'm grinding draft mode. It's mainly because I'm just trying to get my 5 on 5 rhythm back. 5 on 5 groove since... Unlimited's pretty prominent. Come on, Giannis. I wanted to pick and pop right there, but I pressed the wrong button. Not a bad first half. Orange savvy? If you quit, I'll give you a cookie. But you are hanging around. It's been a good game so far. Y6 says that all end game lineup challenge was insane. Are you talking about the spotlights last year? Because I remember that too. Those were good times. It was the all end game lineup versus what? Sapphires? Or am I thinking about Sapphires versus Invincibles? I think it might have been Invincibles. I can't remember for sure. Good defense. Gotta cut off the rim though. Let's see if Jaren can play better defense on Markinen. Good defensive possession, but he just runs to the rim. That's why I didn't miss about this game. Oh, full court press too. Silly turnover. Free base said, what's up, Pimp Juice? What's up, free base? Welcome to the stream. We're right there again. Gotta get defensive rebounds though. That's the key. We've given up a lot of O boards. Oh, nice drive. Could have shot that. Didn't want to. Rick the Brick said, what did I miss? I went 10-0, but didn't get Mitch Richmond. Here we are again, trying to go 10-0 again. But this is only our first game with my new team, which is not very good. My, my new team is not good at all. I don't like it, but we are up double digits. What's up, Richard? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, Greek Freak? I knew I was going to see you at some point. I knew you'd be in here. I didn't know when, but I knew I'd see you. I knew there'd be a Greek Freak sighting tonight. I should have passed that. Oh, the corner was wide open, but I thought he'd run to the corner. 
Bad read. Bad read by me. Should have been a wide open three. Should have been, but it wasn't. Right here, Jaron's got to spread out. See if we can run some pick and roll. Oh, good pass. Ah, crap. I kind of want to go better to stay in the corner. Good D. There we go. What's up, Showtime Landon? Welcome to the stream. Great pass. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not used to his jump shot. I made a three with him earlier. Missed that one, though. Cry Spooky said, yo, Doc. What's up, Cry Spooky? Welcome to the stream, man. Good defense by Markinen. Little backdoor cut. Gobert had some space. Man. The team I had last draft run was so good. This this team has potential. Champion says my goat is Bob Pettit. First MVP and the reason Bill Russell doesn't have a perfect finals record. Bob Pettit was great. He's very important in NBA history. He's not my goat, but Bob Pettit is pretty great. Not my goat, but still pretty good. Still in that NBA 75. Still on a lot of people's all-time lists. Bob Pettit's pretty good. Emmett said, how far are you from Mitch Richmond? Pretty far away now. I had to restart my draft run because I went 10-0 but didn't get Mitch. So we had to start again from scratch. We had to draft a new team. And like I just said, this new team's not very good. But we're managing. We're up double digits. Ah, oh, it's lagging. But yeah, I, either way, we're doing all right. I think this should be a win right here if we can just hold on and not do anything stupid. So we're pretty far from Mitch, but we're going to go th through with his draft run with this team. And we're going to see if we can get him on our second attempt. If we don't, it's not a big deal. We'll end the stream there if we don't get him. But it'd be nice if we did. It'd be nice if we can end the night by getting Mitch Richmond. That'd be perfect, actually. I'd love that. That's fair. It was either give up the wide open three or defend the paint. Apparently that was open. Showtime Landon said, is my team good right now? I've been having fun with it. Maybe that's because I've not been playing Unlimited, but I've been having fun with it so far. It was fun yesterday. It's been fun today. I've enjoyed it so far. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, we are wide open. Kelsey's upset. Emmett said, did you enjoy the Michael Jordan challenge when 2K came out? Yes, I did. I was a big fan of the Jordan Challenge. I think it's really cool they had that in the game. The Jordan Challenge was dope. It was a cool tutorial, and it also was just a nice way to commemorate Jordan's career. Jordan Challenge was dope. Man, stay in the corner, Rudy. I've hit some threes with Gobert today, man. He can actually shoot that thing. This Galaxy Opal Gobert. Jaron Jackson, leaner. Jack says, what is the gem to my career? I don't play my career, so I unfortunately don't know what you're talking about. I wish I did. I wish I could help. Go bear. Oh, man. Barely missed it. Slightly early. Great look. That's the look we wanted. Good foul. The dude says you could have been at 30, 40 co-op wins by now. I don't think so. We would have a decent amount of wins. But 30 40? I don't know. Landon said it's my year in fantasy this year. Hey. I wish it was my year in fantasy basketball. In fantasy NBA, I had an undefeated season, but my players were getting injured, and Jokic just stopped putting up stats at the end of the regular season, so I lost in the second round. I wish it was my year in fantasy. Emmett says Gobert can shoot. I've hit like four threes with him this stream. This is the Galaxy Opal Gobert. He's not that hard to shoot with, but 
every other Gobert in the game, I'm guessing kind of stinks at shooting. Alright, let's go. See if I can get a dunk with DeRozan. Uncle said, man, Doc, how you been? I've been good. How you been, Uncle? I've been great. Showtime Landon says, I'm in your league. I thought you had moderator in here, Landon. I might be thinking of somebody else. I didn't realize that was you, Landon. I thought you had moderator in here. You're an OG. That's why I was confused, but yeah, man. Since you were in my league, you witnessed my undefeated season, but yeah, Jokic just stopped showing up at the end of the regular season. Understandably. The Nuggets were chilling. They had that one seed locked up. So it's understandable why the Nuggets just started chilling. Jonah says, I'm going to head to bed. Another great stream. Facts, man. This one's been good. It's been a fun late night stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Oh, give me a break. That should have been a dunk. Greek Freak said, it's about time for Gobert to learn Chinese. Are you talking about in real life or in 2K? He's been pretty good for my team in 2K. In real life, though, I guess you could argue it's time for him to learn Chinese, but even then, he's still a pretty good rim protector. Landon says, I had a roller coaster year. That you did. That you did. Every year you've been in my fantasy league, you've put together a very solid season. You just haven't quite been able to win the whole thing. Gobert? Oh, that was a good release. That was actually a good shot for Gobert. Nice board. Nice shot by DeRozan, though. This is the second full game we've played this entire stream. I wish we could have gotten a quit, but we haven't gotten big enough of a lead to make this guy quit. Understandably. Like, he's been within striking distance for a while, so... Gotta give him props. Oh, how are we missing that? We're right by the basket. YTM says, I'ma hit the hay. Got church in the morning. So do I. So do I. So, I should probably get to sleep as soon as I can, but I also got to finish this draft run. Either way, take it easy, have a good night, and have a good time at church in the morning. Good defense. Good board. Kind of just want to hold the ball. We have a good lead, and all we have to worry about is just running timeout. Let's just inbound the ball, hold it, and then shoot at the end of the shot clock. 2022 says Nate Thurman might be better than Pettit. In 1967, he held Walt Chamberlain scoreless. That's true. Nate Thurman was a beast. Underrated, though. He's not in that same discussion as guys like, you know, Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell. He was a beast in that era, but he's not in that same discussion as a lot of guys like them, Elijah won, Shaq even though Thurmond was a very solid player. All right, let's hold the ball for real this time. This guy's jumping, but I'm no threat to score right now. All right, GG. Good game to this man we played against. Orange Savvy said GG. GG to you too. Great game. That was what, probably the best game we've played this stream. I know that's kind of sad because we did win by double digits, but that's the only guy that we've made it to the end of the game against and it wasn't a blowout. That was a pretty good game, all things considered. And not a bad first game for this team I drafted. We got the win, but it's still not a very good team. I admit, it's not a very good team. Nolan said Thurman's the GOAT. I do think he's underrated. The GOAT, though... I don't think so, but definitely underrated. Geocast99 is our second opponent. He's got Shaq, Durant, Franz, Jalen. This guy's got a pretty good team too. Let's see how this game goes. The dude said Thurmond didn't get any MVPs or championships, and that's true. That definitely hurts his case for the GOAT. But at the same time, he still had a very solid career. Very solid career. What's up, your mama sweat? Welcome back. You said your phone died? It's all good, man. Good to have you back in the stream. 
Gotta make that three. Greek Freak said who's winning the finals this year. I think the NBA champion this year is going to be the Nuggets, no matter who they play against. They've been really good this entire playoff run, and they've been very consistent throughout the season. I got the Nuggets over the Heat or the Celtics. If you guys disagree, that's fair. Kind of understandable, too. But yeah, I think the Nuggets got it, man. Nolan says, I agree. Nuggets are winning it. Like, the Heat and Celtics are good. It's just that the Nuggets, man, they've been on a different level in the playoffs. Alright, good defense on Shaq. Good job by Gobert. Let's see if we can do the same thing we've been doing this stream. Get stops on defense, run the fast break, and score. Hoops with Tatum said Celtics all the way. Celtics got talent, man. The Celtics definitely have talent, but the Nuggets, if they're clicking... I just can't see any team beating them right now. Nice post spin by Giannis. Sexton's open. And Sexton drills the three. Nice. And we get a steal. Sexton again. Bad shot. Bad shot. I thought he'd, uh, I thought he'd be more open. Terrible shot. Koala said Denver has depth. That they do. But at the same time, it's not like they're the deepest team. I think the Celtics are the deeper team, honestly. Because the Celtics, they have so many talented players off their bench and in their starting five. The Nuggets have good players off their bench, but their main rotation guys off the bench in the playoffs are Jeff Green. Ah, I forget how fast Danny Green's release is. They're Jeff Green, Bruce Brown, and Christian Brown. While the Celtics off their bench have Grant Williams, Derek White's a guy who came off the bench for them this season a lot, even though he started in spots too. They also have Malcolm Brogdon, even though he's hurt right now. They've been bringing Rob Robert Williams off the bench a lot of games. I feel like the Celtics, their bench is better overall than the Nuggets. Or the players who actually play off the bench are better. But the Nuggets, obviously they would have the best player in the series in Jokic. And of course, Murray's been huge in the playoffs too. Not to mention Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Contavious Caldwell-Pope's had his moments. Like... It's going to be a good matchup no matter who plays the Nuggets. I think the Celtics would fare better. But at this point, I believe the Heat can compete with anybody. I believe the Celtics can compete with anybody. I mean, the Nuggets, I think they're going to win the whole thing. But it's kind of wide open in my opinion. A lot of talent. Spontaneous J said, going to sleep. Have a dub stream. Peace out chat. Take it easy, Spontaneous J. And thank you for dropping in and showing some love, as usual. Your Mama Sweat says, what's your opinion on Season 7 of 2K23? It hasn't been going on for very long, just over a week. But so far, so good. So far, so good indeed. It's been good so far. Trash Plan said, what's good, Doc? How you been? I've been great, man. How you been? Hope everything's good with you, Trash Plan. It's been a minute. But welcome back. Bad defense. Emmett said, thoughts on big ol' Al Horford. He's really struggled offensively in the playoffs, but man, he had some big defensive plays tonight. He did a pretty good job rebounding, but yeah, his offense hasn't been great lately. But he's still a good stretch big. He's still a solid player, but it would be nice if he showed up a little bit more offensively. It would help the Celtics a lot. Wow, tough shot. Wyatt said, Sean Elliott is definitely worth picking up. Sounds like I'll pick him up then, at some point. I hope to get him at some point. I'm also going to grind for Allen Houston. I mean, I'm a Knicks fan, so I gotta go for Allen Houston. So, maybe I'll get him while I'm going for Allen Houston. Koala says, I'm a Celtics fan, so I know it's going to be a tough matchup. Yeah, no matter what, it's going to be a tough matchup. Whether it's the, the Heat versus the Nuggets or the Celtics versus the Nuggets. Oh, I mistimed that. I shouldn't have pump faked. Shouldn't have. Brian said that shot by Derek White was crazy. Facts, man. We've been talking about it a lot this stream. I still can't believe that Marcus Smart took the three, first of all. But then Derek White, he just got a wide open runway to grab the ball off the rim and tip it in. If Marcus Smart's shot would have missed too hard, it would have probably bounced really high in the air. And... 
Derek White wouldn't have even had the chance to get the rebound. So Marcus Smart, I guess you could say he missed the shot perfectly to where Derek White, all he had to do was jump up, grab it, and put it in the basket. Greek Freak said, gotta go, have a good one, Doc. Take it easy, Greek Freak. I'm glad you could drop by, even just for a little while, man. Rye Guy said, you're glad to see you back. Welcome back, Rye Guy. Welcome back to the stream. I'm glad to be back, and it's good to have all you guys back in the chat as well, especially considering it's 2.20 Eastern, 120 Central. It's late, but you guys are still showing up and showing love. That means a lot to me, man. Good block. Playing good defense. This guy hasn't quit yet, but we might be on track to make him quit. Ninja Nolan said Derek White was in the right place at the right time. Facts. And he did the smart, the smart basketball thing by cutting to the rim, not assuming that shot was going to go in. Him crashing the boards is the reason why the Celtics are playing Game 7. Yes, alright. Nice, quick, rage quit. 12 and 0. Wyatt says, gotta go to sleep, so maybe see you tomorrow if you stream. Um, there's not gonna be a stream on Sunday, but I think I'm gonna stream on Monday after that Celtics game. After game seven, definitely gonna stream. Jeffro said, the doc is back and better than ever. I don't know about better than ever, but I am back. And I am playing decently to stream. I mean, we're 12 and 0. I'd say we're doing okay, but better than ever i think i still got some work to do before i get back to that point trash plan said how's 2k been haven't been able to play because i've been busy with life i feel you i've had a good time th with this season so far though so far so good not a perfect season but 2k is giving us plenty of good content and we're off to a pretty good start jack says i remember 2020 grinding with you made me feel better those were good times, man. My channel was just picking up steam. I think it was 2020. I had a thousand subscribers. Just three years ago, we only had a thousand subs, but we've come a long way in just a few years. Gobert should get a wide open dunk. Good start. Oh, and a steal. Oh, I could have shot that. Gobert can hit that three, in case y'all didn't know. Native said, big dub, massive dub, man. Massive dub indeed. Emmett says, is it just me, or does Shaq look fat in 2K? I mean, he's fat in real life, so I don't think him being fat in 2K is a very big stretch. He's not very skinny in real life either. Jack says, I've been here since the start, and I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you for hanging around since the start. You're a real one for that. That's a tough shot. Well, what? I forgot that. That's not a bad look. I forgot that you can green shots without filling up the entire meter from that range. Oh, crap. Good defense. Let me change the song I'm listening to real quick. It's still our ball. We still have a chance to score right here. So let's do it. Let's get a nice little rim run right here with the Greek Freak. Your mama sweat said, thanks for coming back, man. There hasn't really been anybody fun to watch because most people are just sniping and the streams are boring. Hey, to be fair, I know some great snipers, but no, nah, I'm glad to be back streaming again. I'm glad that you're still enjoying my content after all this time. And I'm planning on never taking such a long break from streaming again. So I'm hoping to be back. I'm hoping to get back my consistency and just give you all some nice, consistent streams and videos. I appreciate you, your mama sweat. You're an OG too. I snipe said, who's been here since the start. I've been here since the start, but to be fair, I haven't really had a choice. Shout out to everybody who's been here from the beginning of the stream, man. It's been a good stream so far. We've been playing well. We're 2-0 with our new team, which is not even that good. This new team I drafted is honestly pretty bad in my opinion, but it's getting the job done, so... I'm not going to sit here and trash talk these guys I drafted. Because they've been taking care of business. I'm going to give them credit where it's due. 
Oh, I shouldn't have reached in. Ah. If I just wouldn't have tapped the X button, I could have gotten back and probably contested that. I am germ said Doc is back like he never left. I think I was better at 2K before I left. Like a few months ago before I left 2K, I think I was better at the game, but I do think I'm still alright at the very least. Ooh, good defense in the post. Nice spin by Gobert. Make him jump. Easy too. Alright. This guy's got Drummond in at backup center. Gobert should dominate this matchup. And then we're playing good defense on CP3 with Sexton. Doing a great job contesting shots in the paint. There we go. Throw it ahead to DeRozan. Back to Gobert. That's a beautifully run fast break. Your mom said because you were my favorite YouTuber. But then you left and now you're back. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be back. Y'all know I enjoy doing this. It's just I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time, man. Life caught up. I was busy, but we're back now. Maybe not better than ever just yet, but we're certainly back. Eh, I shouldn't shoot this, but I'm going to. This is not good basketball. We can get better shots than that, but y'all know how mashing works on next gen. Give me that. Solomon said, let's go. Doc is back. Yes, sir. Man, I've been seeing that message so much over the past few, over the past couple days, but I'm not complaining one bit, because it feels good to be back. Alright, let's go, Gobert. Gobert is kind of dominating out here, man. And that's going to be 3-0 and oh with the new squad. With Colin Sexton at point guard and DeRozan, Diamond DeRozan at shooting guard. This new squad is actually holding its own. I'm not going to lie. They're playing some good basketball. And we're moving on to the next board. Thank you. We didn't move on to the second board until after our fourth or fifth win on our first run. Koala said GG to that dude. His team wasn't bad, but we were just killing it, man, from the start. Jax said, gotta hit the hay. Peace out, Doc. Take it easy, Jax. Anybody who's gotta go, I completely understand. It's... 127 Alabama time, 227 if you live on the East Coast. Shout out to anybody watching on the West Coast right now because it's like 1127 over there. So your night, some of you guys, your nights might just be getting started. Good for y'all. Alright, seven more games. Ninja Nolan said Diamond Colin Sexton's the GOAT. Apparently he is. He's been getting to the rim and dunking. He made a three to begin last game. He's been pretty good. Koala said, don't blame him. Better to just quit out and search for a new game. Facts, because you don't get any rewards for losing in draft mode, which kind of stinks, but it makes sense. This guy's got a good team. Wow. KD, Miles. Those are his two worst players. He's got, man, Ricky Davis, Gobert. This guy could give me a challenge. We've had a couple guys in this stream give me challenges, but it's been pretty smooth sailing for the most part. But this guy, let's see how he plays to start the game. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy gives me a challenge, because he's got a good team. Great defense by Gobert, but yeah, let's see what this guy can do. Gobert for three. Ah, oh, great look. Great look. But yeah, if this guy is just going to attack the paint... We should be alright. Oh, I could have blocked that. We'll take it, though. Good pass to DeRozan. Oh, Sexton's still open. Great look. Great look. If we can just keep on, you know, clocking up the paint, forcing misses, you know, forcing this guy to take bad shots in there, we're good. Because he's not getting many open threes so far. Yeah, and that's a tough shot right there. Good make, though. Ninja Nolan says, Ronnie2k told me, if you buy Dennis Rodman, put him in your lineup, and go to draft mode, you get Mitch Richmond. I would try that, but I don't know. We're stuck in the game right now. I can't do that just yet. Maybe after this game. Maybe after. But we gotta focus on winning this game first. Great defense. We force the pass out to Stockton. Then we force the turnover. 
scoring on this guy might be kind of tough, but I think defensively, we kind of have him figured out. We know what he's going to do. It just comes down to how well we can make shots. Great pass. That should be an easy two. Solomon said, are you going to stream tomorrow? Not tomorrow. We're not going to stream on Sunday, if that's what you're talking about. But we're going to stream Monday after the NBA after the playoff game. After the Heat and Celtics are done, we're going to do a late night stream. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to get somebody. We're going to grind for some dark matter. Are we going to get them? Hopefully. Good pump fakes. Oh, I didn't realize I used my I didn't use my dribble. I literally thought Giannis dribbled, but it's okay. Elevated said, my man Doc. What's up, Elevated? Welcome to the stream. Orange Savvy says, yo can buy Dark Matter Dame with 20k. That's pretty cheap. Might have to buy Dark Matter Dame. Does he have any challenges? If he does, might actually pick him up. Koala said he is streaming Sunday, technically, so I guess you would be on tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is in Monday. I'm not sure what we'll play, but I do know we're gonna play. I'm not gonna lie, even though my team is not as good as it was the first run, we're doing a better job getting up the board faster. So if we can get to the top board with like, you know, 30 picks instead of, you know, only 15, I think there's a good chance we get Mitch Richmond. This guy's team is not bad, but I'm not that worried about Wally Serbiak, or Trey Young, or Gobert. Let's see if we can go 5-0 right here, or 15-0, technically. Max says, what card should I buy under 20k? Uh, Hito Turkoglu. Point guard Hito Turkoglu. Galaxy Opal. I've heard he's great. Actually, I've used him. I used him earlier this stream, so... Yeah, shout out to Galaxy Opal Hito Turkoglu. He's like 10,000 MT, and he's really good. Also, Kevin Porter Jr., another really good point guard, shooting guard, whatever you want to call him. He's a swing man. He's also pretty good, costs like 14,000 MT. Two really, really fun players right there. Man, come on, guys. Look at this spacing. What is this floor spacing? That was a good shot with um, Gobert, though. Bad shot with Giannis. Good shot for DeRozan, though. What a crappy offensive possession. We just got bailed out by rebounds. 6 nothing though. See if we can make this guy quit, too. He missed that. Let's go. Somebody run. Somebody get to the rim. Let's just keep on moving it around. Koala said time to expose Wally. We haven't really exposed him yet, but we definitely can. Amethyst Wally Serbiak is the mismatch. Oh, give me that. Our defense is solid to start the game. Our offense, though, pretty bad. That was a good open look with Gobert, but we missed it. And we're getting a lot of offensive rebounds. So we're kind of getting bailed out. I'm not going to lie. Then right there, that's just a silly turnover. And this guy's missing open shots, so I'm definitely getting bailed out, but it's okay. Everyone gets bailed out here and there. It happens to the best of us. Good pass. The dude says, if you get Mitch, you can one. Can you run one game before you get off? Yes, yes. I think we'll play some clutch time or TTO with Mitch Richmond. If we get him, we will play. I hope we get him, but if we don't, we'll just end the stream after our last win. But I have a good feeling. This draft run's been good so far. This team has outperformed my expectations. You know, we're winning games pretty nicely. And we're on the second board already. We're doing a better job climbing the board, so... I have a good feeling. Ah, we're missing shots, though. To be fair, I'm also shooting a lot with Giannis and Gobert. And those guys kind of stink at shooting. Valdemort says, are you going to upload any videos? Yes. I'm going to do as many streams as I can, but I'm going to also upload shorts and actual videos. Max Viper said, who's the best card in the game, in your opinion? It's got to be like Minute Bowl, right? It's got to be either Taco, Minute Bowl, or who's the last guy? 
Yao Ming. It's got to be one of those guys because scoring in the paint is impossible to stop. Ninja Nolan says, didn't know they were that cheap. Yeah, man, Turkaloo's cheap and Kevin Porter Jr. is super cheap too. Got to pick those guys up. JND said, dang doc, I figured I'd come see how long your stream ended and I come to see you're still praising the people. Facts. Yeah, JND, we went 10 and 0, but we didn't get um Richmond. So here we are running it back, playing again. We drafted a new team and honestly, the team kind of stinks. But if we win this game, we're 5-0, and so I can't say it's not going well. All right, Giannis, easy too. Nick said, the man? That's all you, Nick. Welcome to the stream. JND said, say less, LMFAO. Yeah, man, we're now 5-0. and Five wins away from getting the maximum amount of picks we can get. If we can get to the top board right here, that would be huge. I'd love that, but we still have five games left. So it's not that big of a deal if we don't get there right here. Oh uh, yeah, we don't get there yet, but we have 19, 25, 33 picks remaining. So we can possibly have like 30 or 25 picks on the top board. Either one's a lot better than the freaking 15 we had last run. Max Viper said, how many wins do you have in draft? Um, with this team, five. Um, in this stream, 15. Kobe, Malcolm Brogdon, Bridges, Kareem, Igadala. That's not a bad team. That is not a bad squad. Chris said, what up, CP? Glad to see you back on the grind. I'm glad to be back on the grind, man. Talking to y'all, chilling, playing the game. It's good to be back. All right, we win the jump ball. Let's have a good game, man. 15-0, and 0, record on the line. Let's see if we can keep it up. Terrible shot. It was a good release, but I definitely could have gotten a better shot. And then he rejects my rebound attempt, my putback attempt. Not a great start. I do see a bit of a mismatch, though. Igadala guarding Giannis. That's a bit of a little mismatch right there, not gonna lie. Max Viper said, who's been the best player in the playoffs? Number one, Jokic. Number two, even though he's been kind of bad over the last few games, Jimmy Butler. Those guys have been awesome in the playoffs. J J Jason Tatum has been pretty good too. A bit inconsistent, but still pretty good. Oh, good move. The Wolf said, chicken or beef? I mean, I love both, but I, I gotta go with chicken. It's healthier. I eat it pretty much every day. Gotta go with chicken over beef. I'm thinking chicken and seven, because beef's good. Beef is really good. Lockie Williams said he is back, yes sir. Not better than ever, just yet, but I am back. Good to have you back in the stream too, Lockie. Tough shot. Gotta play better defense. Koala said, easier to digest, yes. Chicken's tasty, man. How can you not love chicken? Max Viper said, what's your favorite food? Gotta go pizza, man. Pizza is an all-time great food. It's versatile. You can have it in many different ways. You can have it plant-based. You can have it, you know, legit. You can have it keto. You can just have it, you know, with a garlic parmesan crust with pepperoni and jalapeno. You can put whatever you want on pizza, man gotta be my favorite food of all time just because of how versatile it is pizza is versatile so favorite food of all time and chicken sandwich not far behind that was such good defense the wolf said salt or sugar again very tough choice i think i gotta go with uh, i gotta go with i'm thinking salt in seven I meant to shoot that. I was holding down the shoot button. It's all good. I gotta go salt and seven. I love the, the sweet and salty combo, but if I had to pick one, it's gotta be salt. I mean, both sodium and sugars are unhealthy, so picking using healthiness as a factor here doesn't really work. So I gotta go with salty. 
Good defense, better offense. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome to the stream. Bogdan says, I just woke up, wanted to watch stream recap, and Doc is still going. Yes, sir. I'm glad to still be going, even though it's just the morning for you. What's up, Jonathan and Bogdan? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Just a quick background for you guys just joining the stream. This is our second draft run. We went um, 10-0, and 0, our first draft run, but we didn't get Richmond. So here we are drafting a new team, and we're somehow still undefeated. I am germs, said green chili burger. That sounds delicious. I'm eating it once the stream is over. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I know I'm eating something. What I'm trying to say is you guys are making me hungry. Green chili burger right now sounds amazing. Hey, we got a donation, ladies and gentlemen. It's not our first dono with a stream, but it's still a big dub of a dono. Hi Yi said, good night. Take it easy, Hi Yi. Thank you for dropping by as usual. And I'll see you again soon, I'm sure of it. Hi Yi always shows up big in the streams. Koala said, dub dono, yes sir. Every dono's a dub, no matter how big it is, but that one's big time. Shout out to Hi Yi dropping the 279 and we're up 19 to 6 versus a pretty good team okay never mind freaking terrible defense but yes we're looking pretty good as i almost turn it over again let's look let's pass that thing to granger for a dunk jnd said almost midnight here in cali yeah your night's just getting started man even though you might be going to sleep soon Almost midnight for me is not late at all. Ninja Nolan said, late night doc, it's different. I love these late night streams, man. That's why we're doing another late night stream on Monday. We're doing late night doc on Monday too. All right, man, we're up 21 to eight. Let's keep on playing good defense, getting stops and getting easy buckets too. That's a tough shot. Great defense, though. Good rebound. Let's run. Someone run to the rim. That works. Oh, yeah, that's a good trick right there. The Wolf says, I'm new to 2K this year. Does Ray Allen have a good card? I've heard he has a pretty uh, decent Dark Matter. I've never used him, so I don't know how good he is, but I know Ray Allen has a Dark Matter. What do you guys think of Dark Matter Ray Allen? Because... I have no experience using the card. Nolan says, I know you know I'll be there the whole stream. I do know you'll be there. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there already. JND said, Doc after dark. Yasser says, Yo, glad to finally catch you live. First time since starting 2K last month. Hey, man. I'm glad you got 2K started last month. And I'm glad you're finally catching me live. I'm also glad to be live again because it has been a long, long time. Max Viper said, do you think you're going to get Mitch Richmond? You know what? I think I am. I have a pretty good feeling about it. On the first board, I did not have a good feeling because it took us forever to even get to the top board. But this time, we're on the second board and we still have 30 total picks remaining. So all we have to do is win four out of our next six and we're going to the top board. We should get plenty of chances at Mitch. And whether we get him or not, we've played pretty well today. I've had a pretty good time. We've gained some subs, gotten some donos. We've had some fun this stream. So whether we get him or not, very successful stream. Koala said, Dark Matter Ray Allen is cheap. I might have to try him out then. I tried out a bunch of new players yesterday, but Ray Allen, not one of them. Flash Gamer said, I remember the first time I watched you stream. It was when you were grinding for Pink Diamond Curry in 2K21. That was a long time ago, because Pink Diamond Curry was the very first level 40 in 2K history, back in NBA 2K21. Good times, man. Jacob said, did you watch the Heat Celtics game? Of course I did. Of course I caught that game. I had to catch that game. I mean, it was a great game, too. One of the best games of the playoffs. 
Yasser said, did I miss the Game 6 discussions? Unfortunately, yes you did. But, I mean, it was a great game. So, I'm 100% down to talk about it again. That was a insane game. I mean, the Heat shot 35%. They had no business being in the lead by one point with, what, three seconds left? They had no business being in the lead in that situation, but they were. Man, that's crazy. If they would have just gotten the rebound and not let Derek White tip that in, then we'd be seeing Miami and the Nuggets in the finals. It's crazy how one play, one bounce of the ball, one shot can change the course of history. Yasser said, didn't the ref set the time back to three seconds? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. There were two seconds left on the clock, but also they put time back after reviewing whether or not Jimmy Butler was behind the line. He was going to shoot two free throws, but then they changed the call to three free throws and added time back on the clock for when the foul occurred. But yeah, the shot that Marcus Smart took, can't believe he took that shot because that was just not a good shot, but... Derek White was in perfect position to get it and put it back. Max Viper said, what sport did you play when you were younger? I played basketball in high school for four years. I got one offer to play in college, but I didn't take it. The school that offered me a basketball, what was it called? The school that offered me to play basketball is a small school in my hometown called Huntington College. They're a D3 and they don't give any athletic scholarships. Since they're D3, they don't give full athletic scholarships like D1 schools and D2 schools do, so since UAB, you guys have probably heard of UAB, they offered me a full academic scholarship because I did pretty good on the ACT and I also had a good GPA. So they offered me a full academic scholarship and I had to take it. I would have either been going to UAB for free or paying 40, 50,000 a year to play college basketball. And trust me, I love basketball, but man, I think I made the right decision for my future. What's up, Raisin? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you back in the building. Oh, I was going to shoot that with Gobert. All good, though. We have a mismatch. We have a mismatch right here, so y'all clear out and let Giannis cook. Never mind. Yasser said, same as Duncan Robinson, I can't believe those back-to-back -back bricks. That's true. A lot of players on the Heat made mistakes. Duncan missed those two open shots, but they weren't bad shots, so I can't fault him for taking those. It's not as bad, in my opinion, as just not boxing out and giving up a wide open, not wide open, actually it was wide open, a wide open layup for the win, pretty much. It was an easy putback. No defensive pressure at the rim, because... The Heat just weren't playing for the miss. They weren't playing for the putback. Is what I meant. Koala says he made two contested ones too. True. I mean, Duncan Robinson, he's not going to make every single shot. He did miss those two open threes, but, I mean, he shot 50% from three for the game. He was one of the Heat's best offensive players tonight. He had 13 points, made three threes. He played well overall, and he wasn't even that bad on defense. I know Duncan's a big-time defensive liability, most people know that, but he wasn't even that bad on defense tonight, even though he did have some bad fouls, like that one where I think he kind of pushed J J Jalen Brown out of bounds, but also that should have been a no-call in my opinion, I don't know. Basketball's weird, a lot of things happen, and no matter what mistakes you point out, or want to point out, the Heat, they led by one with less than a second left. If they just grab that rebound, or if Marcus Smart's shot misses by, like, an inch harder, then it doesn't bounce straight into Derek White's hands. So, like, it's just crazy how basketball works. If that shot hits front or back rim and bounces instead of rolling in and out, it wouldn't have missed so short and landed right in Derek White's hands. So, of course, you can kind of blame um, Max Strews for not boxing out or whatever, but you also can kind of blame the basketball gods, too. Koala said Duncan played well tonight for sure. He did. Duncan was solid. 
Ninja Nolan says you can't blame Duncan. Yasser said that's true, agreed. Yeah, Duncan made some big shots. Some shots that you can argue shouldn't have gone in because they were so contested. JND says I'm gonna head out for real because I'm exhausted after the road trip. Keep up the grind. Hey, take it easy, man. And thank you for dropping in again. Max Viper said, do you think LeBron's going to retire? I don't think so, man. I think there's no way LeBron goes out without a retirement tour. I mean, this man is arguably the greatest of all time. There's no way he's going out without a big spectacle retirement tour. I think everyone knows that. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron sits out a season to, you know, get his body right and then come back stronger. That honestly wouldn't surprise me. Maybe he sits out a season, comes back, kind of like Jordan did. He sat out a little while with the Bulls, then came back with the Wizards. Maybe LeBron sits out a year. Maybe Bronny goes one and done, and LeBron comes back and joins whatever team Bronny gets drafted by, assuming that he gets drafted, of course. Good defense by Sexton. What's this guy trying to do? Is this guy trying to shift Colin Sexton? Ain't happening. I am Germ said LeBron will honor his contract. He's not like KD. True. LeBron's loyal, even though he has left a few teams. The Wolf says, when I played high school basketball, I was a power forward. I was 6'5", 225. I wish I took it more seriously. 6'5", at the high school level, it's definitely not undersized for a, for a power forward. Man, you could have been, def you definitely could have been very solid, man. Six foot five is great height, 225 is good weight. You were probably a bully in that paint. You were almost definitely a bully in that paint. Good shot, Gobert. Max said, do you think the Grizzlies are going to make the playoffs next year? I mean, the Grizzlies have such a good young core, man. Whether Ja plays or not, I think they're going to make the playoffs. I mean, remember, they're still going to have Desmond Bain playing. They're still going to have the Defensive Player of the Year, Jaron Jackson. They're going to have, well, I guess they're not going to have Dylan Brooks, but they're going to have Tyus Jones. They're still going to have largely the same team from this past season. And Tyus Jones, he plays so well as a starting PG or a bench PG. I think the Grizzlies can still make the playoffs, but I don't think they'll be as high of a seed. Good switch. Great defense. Grizzlies are still going to be solid, but definitely not like a championship contender or anything crazy like that. Ninja Nolan said Dylan Bricks. I guess you can call him that. I think all of us can kind of agree on that. Good shot, Sexton. Yasser said, how do you see my Wizards doing next season? I know we're mudded, but I'm curious what your diagnosis is. Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie. Fully healthy? The Wizards actually have a pretty good roster. I can see them, you know, Max being like a 6-8 to eight seed. If they're healthy the whole season. But I could also see them missing the play-in tournament. They have a talented roster. It's just that they shouldn't try to build around a big three of Porzingis, Beal, and Kuzma. They should aspire for something better than that, but at the same time, those are three talented players. They have some decent guys around them too. I mean, I like Corey Kispert. He's got talent. I like, um, who else? I like Denny Avdia. He's definitely gotten better as a player as well. Monte Morris is not bad. They have some decent players in Washington, man. It's just that they don't have, like, a superstar who can propel them to, like, a top six seed, in my opinion. Kyrie said, hi, I'm new. I just subbed. I'm sure LeBron's not going to retire because he wants to play with Bronny. I agree with that. Also, Kyrie, I was focused on the game, so I missed your subscriber alert. Let me go ahead and replay that right now. Thank you for the sub, Kyrie. You're awesome. Welcome to Doc Nation. And I agree with you. I think, I think LeBron wants to play with Bronny. I also think he's not going to retire now because he wants his farewell tour. LeBron knows he's a legend of the game. He's not going out without a last dance goodbye tour. There's no way. He's going to get to play his last games in Miami, last games in Cleveland, Boston. 
everywhere. And he's gonna get honored just like Kobe did. Oh no, why is Gobert running that way? Gobert would have gotten a wide open layup if he didn't run away from the paint like that. Yasser said Bradley Beal had a 30 points per game season and nothing ever since, but you're right. He can still score though. Bradley Beal, he did have that 30 point per game season, but it's not like he's been terrible ever since. He's just hasn't lived up to expectations. He hasn't played up to his contracts. Justin said good night. Hey, good night, Justin. Thank you for dropping by. Can we get to the top board right here? I really hope so. Come on, man. Get us to the top board. I think we only have like three games left. So I really hope we can get there right here. Come on. Stop with the tokens. Stop with the tokens. Get me up there. I'll take the MT. But we only have three games left. So at best, we can have 25 picks on the top board, which isn't terrible, but not what we want. If we can get up there with 19 picks, I'll be confident, but we better get up there after this next game. Max Viper said, we, where do you think Trey and Kyrie are going next season? I think Kyrie's going to end up re-signing with the Mavericks, because I saw a report that says they're willing to give him the contract he wants, but they're not willing to help him get to whatever team he wants. So like, if he wants to go to the Lakers, the Mavericks, if they don't like the package that LA offers them in return, they're not going to make that trade. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if they trade him to some random team, but I do think he's going to re-sign with Dallas. Trey Young, oh man, I think he's going to still be with the Hawks too. I know that the idea of Trey going to a team like Portland or LA is intriguing, but I think he's going to stay put in Atlanta too. They like Trey in Atlanta. I know those are boring answers. You probably wanted me to say Trey to the Lakers, Lillard to like the Nets. That'd be crazy, but I don't know if it's going to happen. What's up, Soul Zoo Zoo? It's good to see you back in the stream as well, man. Kyrie said, let's get some Dylan Bricks in the chat. He's Mr. I Can Poke the Bear. After that, he got destroyed. He did. He did, man. LeBron really took it to him, and the Grizzlies went down in six games. Matthew says, I'm just saying LeBron's going to force Lakers to trade to the Warriors. LeBron with the Warriors would be insane. Would LeBron accept that? I don't know. But man, if they're able to keep LeBron and Clay and Draymond, and of course Looney, That'd be a pretty fun squad, I'm not going to lie. Because the Warriors can use a small forward. Oh, good cut. Star Crusher said this guy's team is stacked. Yes, it is. He's got Curry and Giannis, as well as Tracy McGrady, even though he's just a diamond. And he's got Jokic, a power forward. This guy's got a good team. How well is he going to play, though? We'll have to see. Yeah, this is going to be tough, because he's got Giannis at small forward. So that's a height mismatch for sure. Danny Granger, not sure if he'll be able to guard. Hopefully he can, but I don't know. This guy could give me problems. Oh, good steal. Great steal, actually. And then Danny Granger fouls. That's going to be a matchup problem for sure. Maybe I can move Giannis to small forward. I don't like doing that, though, because... Giannis can't shoot. But I trust Giannis to guard Giannis a lot better than I trust Granger to guard Giannis. So, yeah, let's bring in Jaron Jackson to guard Jokic, and Gobert is going to guard Gobert. Yeah, I can tell this guy's pretty good, so we got to lock in. So, DeRozan is going to be our main wing threat, because Giannis, I'm sure this guy's not worried about Giannis' shooting. Bad shot. Great defense. This is going to be tough. I'm not worried yet. I'll let you guys know when I'm worried, but I'm not worried yet. Ghost can test right there. Soul Zuzu said, did you watch the Heat game? Of course I watched that Heat game. 
That was an awesome game, man. One of the best games in the playoffs so far. I should have shot the layup. But yeah, that was a great game. Oh, good release. Good release, but not good enough. Kyrie said, LeBron, when can get another record? H is the GOAT. I think if LeBron can win another ring or two, he'll be solidified as the GOAT in most people's conversations. At the same time, though, I think there's a crowd of people who thinks that no matter what happens, LeBron's the GOAT. I mean, Jordan's the GOAT. Everybody has different perceptions of who the GOAT is. There's no definitive GOAT because a lot of people think it's LeBron, a lot of people think it's, you know, Jordan. There's no definitive GOAT. Crap. Great defense the entire possession until the end. Crap. Yeah, this guy is pretty good. His defense is solid. I gotta run some more creative stuff off the ball, I think. Oh, good shot again! That's a decent look, but gotta green it. Good defense by Giannis. That's good defense on Gobert. I thought that was three seconds. Soul said my username is so Soul Zulu. My bad. I'm a, I think I was saying Zuzu. That's my fault, man. Zulu. I'm going up here. Ah, oh, good defense by his CPU. Sexton's cold. Let's get him out of there and sub in Gilbert Arenas. I've been missing some good looks with Sexton, which is not good for me. Nice snatch. Max Viper said, who's your favorite player in the league right now? It's got to be Derrick Rose. I know that he's not, like, young or anything, but it's got to be D. Rose. I've been a fan of him for so long. Nice behind the back. Nice spin. Oh, come on, arenas. Jack said Derrick freaking White is the GOAT. He is really good. And he had a huge buzzer beater tonight. I can't believe that happened. When Marcus Smart took that shot, I, I knew the game was over. I was like, man, the Heat got this. Why is Marcus Smart shooting that? But then, Derek White flew in out of nowhere for the tip-in. That was insane, man. What a game. Okay, we got a mismatch right here. Will be nice if I can score. Good foul, good foul. Offensively, terrible first quarter for us, but our defense has been decent, so that kind of makes up for it. Yasser says, as a neutral, that was definitely the best game in these playoffs, in my opinion. But I feel for the Heat fans, for sure. I feel for the Heat fans, man. They, sh they should be in the finals right now. That one moment might be the reason why the Heat don't make it to the finals. Crap. Terrible ending to the first quarter. Just down by one. That's a big swing right there. Oh, no, no. I should have passed it faster. That was a good look for Gobert. I snipe said 50 clutch time wins. This is boring AF. I bet. I bet it's boring, but you're grinding. Keep it up. Emmett said Heat versus Celtics game seven is going to be a dogfight. Facts. I'm excited for it on Monday, man. Sol Zulu said, what do you think Harden's going to do in the offseason? I think that him going back to the Rockets, I mean, he wants to win a championship, right? That just wouldn't make sense if he goes back to the Rockets. So, I think he's going to end up back with the Sixers. I think they're going to offer him a big contract. I just think it's counterproductive towards his legacy and towards, you know, how quality of a team he'll be on next season if he goes back to the Rockets. I just don't think that makes much sense for him, even though they do love him in Houston. He's like a legend in Houston. The people love James Harden there. I mean, he's got his number retired in a strip club. Tanvir said, have you gotten Rick Smith's? I have not. I want him though, but we haven't gotten him just yet. Right now we're grinding for Richmond. Oh no, whoa, I didn't mean to shoot that. That's a terrible animation and just a terrible shot. Thankfully we're playing good defense, but like, dude, that was a blown possession. 
That was a wasted possession for sure. Go Bear. Oh, barely missed it. Crap, great release. Just barely off. I'm getting some decent releases, but like, I'm missing some very makeable shots. And then we get an offensive three second. Not really my fault. Emmett said, Mitch Richmond seems nice. No lie, facts. He does seem nice. Looking forward to picking him up and using him. Hopefully. Oh, almost got the steal. Great recovery on defense. But man, we still give up the dunk. Where's that accent from? I'm from Alabama. Southern accent. Southern accent indeed. All right, our defense hasn't been the worst, but man, we gotta get some offense to go now. Lane's open, come on Giannis. Kyrie says, can't wait for the Wembenyama card in my team. It's gonna be a glitch, man, seven foot five. He can dribble, he can shoot. He's gonna be a beast, obviously. Everyone knows that. I snipe said F Victor. Tanvir says, I feel like offline rewards are extra rare. I agree. They are very rare. I snipe says, I know the location of the club his jersey's retired at. Unfortunately, I don't. Tell me though. I like learning new things every day. Ninja Nolan said, Who's your favorite card of all time in 2K? That's a tough one. I think I gotta go with the goat kobe i remember getting him from that all-time spotlight grind such a fun card such a fun card and a great reward for that grind also invincible taco obviously a great card too invincible tacos up there goat kobe's up there those are my two favorite cards of all time i think two really good cards Jack said, Heat Celtics game seven, who are you going with? I think I'd rather the Heat win because my brother's a Heat fan, and I know that he'd love to see the Heat win. So if I had to go for a team, I'm going for the Heat. But if I had to pick a team to win, I gotta pick the Celtics. I mean, they have momentum. They're looking good right now. They're in their groove. They're, they have momentum. That's the reason why I think they're gonna win this game seven. On their home floor too, I think they got it. Let's get right by the rim. Easy pocket. Kyrie said rookie LeBron or rookie Wembenyama? That's such a tough question. I don't even know if I can answer that because different eras of the NBA, both guys are going to have a big impact on winning. I think I got to go with LeBron because of, you know, he's the player I grew up watching, but Wembenyama is going to have a chance to light up the league in his first season. He's going to put up some big numbers because... This is a fast-paced era we're playing in, man. Wembenyama's gonna have a big-time rookie year. Good foul. But yeah, Jack, I think I gotta go with the Celtics in seven. Even though I do want to see the Heat succeed for my brother. Arenas, wow. Bailed out right there. We're actually in the lead. This guy's got such a good team. He's really been good on defense too. But we somehow have the lead. Weathering the storm, man. Even though we haven't played very well, even though this guy is a pretty good player, we're still looking pretty good right now. Good defense to end the first half, and we're somehow in the lead. I snipe said, Dreams Gentleman Club. The YouTuber? No, I'm kidding. But yes, now I know. I appreciate you, I snipe. Yasser said, Please God, make him stay healthy. Facts, man. I hope he stays healthy. Wembenyama, there's no way he's a bust if he just stays healthy for his entire career. There's no way. I mean, he's got all the all this like physical skills. He's got all the tools. He can be so good. I hope he stays healthy. 
Max Viper said this weekend, this week, my grandfather died and your stream made me really happy. I'm glad, man. Not that your grandfather died. I'm glad that my stream has cheered you up. Because I've lost some grandparents before in the past too. Losing anybody in the family it is a tough loss, man. So I hope you're holding up just fine and I'm glad my stream is helping you out. Star Crusher said, talk about a defensive struggle. Facts. Like, dude, we've had some high scoring games this stream. We've had a bunch of quits, obviously. We've played versus a bunch of good teams and players, but this is literally just the lowest scoring, biggest struggle of a game this stream so far. Like, what a defensive battle. Neither of our neither of our teams have really game-breaking, unstoppable players. I'm doing a good job guarding him, but he's doing a good job guarding me too. Look at this. Look at this defense. We're playing such good defense, but we just can't pull away because he's playing good defense too. Jordan Brewer said, yo, what's good, Jordan? Welcome to the stream, my man. Great pass. Welcome to the stream, Jordan. Tom Veer said, God bless your gramps. Facts. God bless them and your family. Because I know it's got to be a tough loss for your family too. Not just you, but for your family. Alright, we're there on Curry. This guy's calling an ISO. The lane's open, but Arenas is clamping. Arenas is doing his thing. Great defense by Gobert. And that's a shot clock violation. Kyrie said Giannis or LeBron or MJ or Luka or Curry or Wembenyama. That's too many names to pick between, but Wembenyama's just a rookie, so I don't know if I'm putting him in the same category just yet as those other guys. Alright, man, let's keep up the defense. Max Viper said, who's your favorite YouTuber? That's a tough question, because there's so many good ones. My favorite 2K YouTuber, though... Oh, that's also tough, because I know so many good ones. I talked to some good ones. I think for 2K22 or 2K23, it's got to be Matt Mojo. That guy is awesome. Jack said, all right, Doc, I'm going to sleep. Great stream. Love you, man. Right back at you, Jack. Take it easy. Have a good night. And I'll see you again soon. I'm sure I'll see you in another stream before long. Take it easy. Ninja Nolan said, this is what I call a defensive game. Hey, man, we got off to a rough start on offense, and we're not doing great on offense right now, but we're actually getting a little groove going. We're starting to hit some shots, starting to get some stops. I'd say we're doing all right, as Arenas hits a big three from the corner. Just like every other game this stream, we're starting to pull away, starting to find ourselves, but we've had to play some high-scoring games this stream, low-scoring games. Every single game, though, has been defined by me finding a little groove on defense and then scoring after getting stops. That's been the thing every single game this stream. And now we have Blake Griffin guarding Gobert. Like, I'm not that worried about that. As Arenas puts it up again. Back-to-back -back jumpers from Arenas. Ninja Nolan says, love Matt Mojo. He's definitely my top three favorite with you on that list. Hey man, being on the same list as him is an honor. Matt Mojo, great pack openings, but also great player and great grinder he kind of does everything I'm, I'm not really big on the pack openings i don't love opening packs but mojo man his pack openings are spectacles like you don't want to miss those you don't want to miss a mojo pack opening because he pulls some amazing stuff oh crap big stop on defense by this guy he now he's driving baseline we're there we're there excellent defense do you know who Troy Dan is? And do you like his videos? I do know Troy Dan. I'm subscribed to him. And his content's pretty fun. I like it. Paradox says, I pulled another Dark Matter coach. Who is it? That's awesome, but who is it? Oh, nice drive. That's a mismatch. That's going to be a dunk. Ninja Nolan says, I guess I watch Matt too much. I have over 130 hours watching him and mod. It's well deserved on his channel and mine. Thank you for supporting the both of us. Matt's awesome, so I'm glad you watch his content too. Great defense. Please miss that. There's no way. Whew. 
Zulu says, I feel like people are going to call Wembenyama a bust if he doesn't drop MVP stats in his rookie season. I feel like if he gives us 20 points and 10 rebounds a game, or 20 points and 8 rebounds, I don't think that... I think people will hate on that a little bit, but I don't think they should. I think people will be disappointed if he's not amazing right off the bat. That's not how it should be, but you might be right. Like, if he doesn't put up, like, 30 in his first season, I wouldn't be surprised if some people are like, disappointing season, bust, garbage. I wouldn't be surprised if people do that. They shouldn't, but it wouldn't surprise me if they do. HTB is really good for 2K content. I completely agree. That guy's awesome too. He actually follows me on Twitter. Fun fact. That guy's cool. Jordan said, do you have artists? I don't. I haven't started playing Unlimited yet. I mean, part of the reason I'm playing this is actually to get ready for Unlimited. I haven't played 5 on 5 like this on 2K in months. So I gotta get my groove back. I gotta get my 5 on 5 rhythm back. And we haven't lost in draft mode, so I think this is helping me slowly get ready for playing Unlimited. Even though, obviously, in Unlimited, we're going to be matching up with Taco and Manute Bowl and Yao Ming. It's going to be tough, but this is helping me get my, my feet back under me. It's helping me get my groove back a little bit, so to speak. Look at that, man. We allowed 12 points in the first quarter, two in the second quarter. Our defense has been so good ever since that first quarter. It wasn't looking very good at first, but we've definitely bounced back. Max said, how old are you? I am 24, like Kobe. Well, like Kobe's number. Rest in peace, Mamba. Good defense. Man, our defense is locked in. Antonio said, no way, Doc. Yes way. Yes way. I'm back. I am back. I know I've said this a ton. I'm not quite better than ever, but I am back. We're playing well this stream, but I can't say I'm better than ever just yet. Oh, good spin. Great spin. Paradox says, I got Dark Matter Eric Spolstra. Nice. Spolster's a beast. I think everyone knows that, though. Gents said that top left chat's delayed. I typed that like an hour ago. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the chat in the top left corner. I'm going to try to get that fixed. But, yeah, that's just been weird these last two days. Good defense by this guy. What a shot by Arenas, but he missed it. Good rebound by Gobert, though. Going sweaty said it's 2 a.m. for me. It is 2 18 a.m. for me. So I'm guessing it's 2 18 for you too. It's the same time for the both of us in the central time zone. Great defense. And this is going to be a bucket for somebody. Max said, What's your favorite 2K of all time? I gotta go with NBA 2K13 for the Xbox 360. Those were good days, man. I loved playing Creating a Legend. I loved playing my career. That was the very first year of my team. It's not the best 2K for sure. Like some of the 2Ks, like 2K16, 17, are definitely better. But just for nostalgia purposes, my favorite of all time is definitely 2K13. And then 2K14, the very first one for the Xbox One, also nostalgic. Obviously, 16, 17, all those games were great. But in terms of nostalgia, playing the game with my brothers, playing the association, playing my career, and of course, playing my favorite game mode of all time, creating a legend. Whew, those were some fun days. All right. We got this game in the bag. This was a low-scoring defensive battle, but... Now it's a blowout, as Gobert shoots a leaner. Yeah, at this point, I'm just playing around. This is going to be win number 18 if we don't blow this lead in 40 seconds. Great defense, man. Oh, I went to steal that. Go to the corner. Good defense. All right, that's going to do it. 
Let's just hold the ball. Yasser said dominating with LeBron in 2K14 was goaded facts. Good times, man. Great times. Paradox says not sure if I want to sell Eric or Steve. That's a tough call. Either way, you got yourself a good coach, no matter who you sell. All right, next time we get the ball, we're just holding it. I was going to run the clock out right there, but then this guy fouled me. Okay, then he left the match. I mean, it was a pretty close game for most of the game, but it's about time he left. Cash said, for its time, I remember 2K14 had great graphics. That's a fact. It did have great graphics. It feels like the graphics have gotten worse since then, but they really haven't. It's just that next-gen graphics can only get so advanced before they seem like, you know, they're just the exact same every single time. Oh gosh, can we get to the top board already? Please. Oh gosh, it was looking so good. I thought we'd get to the top board by now, but... Oh gosh, we've had some bad luck on this board. Either way, we're two games away from being done with this stream. No matter what, whether we get Mitch or not, we're almost done. Max Viper said, who's winning the NBA championship next year? If I had to guess right now, hmm... I'm thinking for the future here. I'm thinking Celtics. That might not be a great pick, but it's what I'm thinking. I think the Celtics go down in the finals this year versus the Nuggets, but then they come through next year, finally. That's my bold prediction. If I had to pick the champion of next season right now, that's who I'm picking. As Gobert gets a quick and one to begin game number 19. Ninja Nolan says two more games and I go to bed. Yes, sir. You've made it this far, Nolan. I appreciate you hanging around this stream for so long. Is this guy even playing? Steve B says I'm back after one hour. Welcome back, Steve B. Good to have you back in the chat, my man. I really hope we can get Mitch Richmond before we end this stream, but it's admittedly not looking great. We aren't even on the top board yet. I thought we'd be on the top board by now because we got off the first board so fast, but it is not looking good. Either way, I'm happy we've played so well. I'm glad we haven't lost yet. We're off to a good start in this game. That's a very tough shot, though. I can't believe that went in. Good shot, Giannis. Max said, who do you think's going to tank next season? I think the usual culprits are going to tank. I think we'll see the Rockets tank if they don't get James Harden. I think we'll see maybe the Pistons. I think we can possibly see... I don't even know at this point. It's so tough to predict because the NBA... There's so much talent. Like, there are so many good teams, so many good players. I think that the Magic are going to be better next season. They're going to draft somebody in the top 10 in the lottery. And after Markel Fultz came back this season, they were actually 500. Like, they had a good record, and they almost made the play-in. I think the Magic will be better, so they're not going to tank. The Pistons, I think, might end up tanking, especially after the disappointment in the draft lottery this season. I can definitely see them tanking. Um, who else? I think the Thunder are actually going to compete. I don't think they're going to tank. They're, it's just so hard to predict right now. I think the Rockets, if they don't get James Harden, are going to be tough. They're going to be tough to watch. I mean, I think they're going to tank. It's just so hard to predict right now. There's plenty of teams that might end up tanking, but it's hard to predict right now. For all we know, the Hawks might trade away Trey Young for a bunch of future picks, and they might end up tanking if they lose Trey Young. You never know. Tough shot. Good release, but not good enough. We have a mismatch right here, so let's just score this. Steve said, you're so kind. So were you, Steve. Shout out to you for coming back at... 224 at night. Quinn said I'm back, Doc. Any updates? Sadly, no. Well, we're 18-0. But we haven't even made it to the top board yet. So, like, 
our prospects of getting Mitch Richmond, they're not looking very good. But we're going to end the stream no matter what, whether we get him or not, after we go and get our 20th win. So, like, I'm not going to be that upset either way, but it would be nice to get Mitch before we end the stream. It'd be a perfect way to cap things off. If we win this game, we're 19 and 0. Welcome back to the stream, though, Quinn. Oh, nice cut. Nice backdoor cut. Our shooting hasn't been so good to start this game, so... We gotta hit some shots. We also gotta get easy dunks. And we gotta cut down on turnovers. Good defense. Never mind. Prime Mello or Prime Derrick Rose? I gotta go with Prime Derrick... Prime Mello. Just because we never got to see Derrick Rose's true prime. After his MVP season, he never had a season, you know, that matched or even came close to his MVP season in terms of just how dominant he was and how athletic he was in that season. So we sadly got robbed of Derrick Rose's prime. And Melo in his prime was such an unstoppable offensive force. I mean, he's top 10 all time in scoring for a reason. He was all NBA, all star year after year. Even though he never won the big prize in the NBA, he still had an awesome career. Gotta give Melo his flowers, man, because he was good. Really good. Unstoppable for mid-range, solid three-point shooter. Never an elite defender, but like, man, he played for some great teams, made great contributions. And he's one of my favorite players ever for just how fun he was to watch. Also, I thought Gobert definitely got fouled on that three, but it's no big deal. Wow, and we give up the and one. Rodney says, are you back from the dead? Yes. I was never dead, but I'm certainly back. And I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have you back in the stream as well, man. See if we can beat the buzzer. Oh, wow. What a terrible attempt. We're going to be up by three, but man, what a garbage last shot attempt. The dude says, if you get Mitch Richmond, can you run co-op? I'll play one game. Probably either Clutch Time or TTO. If we get Mitch. It's not looking good, but I hope we get Mitch, man. I hope we do. Fingers crossed. We're going to have at least 19 picks on the top, or at most 19 picks on the top board. But we got to get off the second board first, and we haven't done a good job of that. Oh, give me that. Nice steal. Good reflexes by me. Nice button pressing. And now Giannis right by the rim. Oh, come on. We gotta get a better animation than that. Let's give it to Gobert because he's got a mismatch. Great pass. Good shot. Have you tried Sabonis at power forward? I use him a lot. I have not tried him at power forward. But I might, now that you mentioned it. This guy's playing some good defense. I gotta give him credit for that. He's running me off the three-point line, so I gotta dominate in the paint. I'm not really hitting any threes, not really hitting many jump shots, except that one with Giannis. This guy is doing a decent job closing out on shooters, so let me dominate him in the paint because he doesn't have any center in the game. His center is uh, Tracy McGrady. Well, actually, actually, no. He subbed McGrady out. His center now is Carl Malone. And he's a power forward. Gobert's got the height over him. Gobert again. Unfiltered said, just got CJ McCollum. Nice. Congrats. Steve said, San Antonio get Victor. What do you think, Doc? Should the Hornets have gotten Victor? I mean, keep in mind, the draft lottery's random. And the Spurs... They had the best, they were tied for the best percentage chance of getting Victor. So it would have been nice for the Hornets if they got him, but like, anything can happen with a draft lottery. And the odds are so weird now. So like, I think the Spurs, I don't think it's rigged that they got him. Obviously, he was drafted, he's going to be drafted into a great situation, a great organization. But I don't think it's rigged or anything that the Spurs ended up getting him. I don't. Oh, I knew he was going to pass that. Great block, great block. Let's run, baby. Let's run. Someone's going to be open. Nice pump fake. 
Let's give it back to Gobert. And let's keep on dominating in the paint. Carl Malone's good, but he ain't guarding Galaxy Opal Gobert. That was a bad shot. That was actually good defense, but we'll take it. Rush, Jason Richardson's jumper is so cash. I've heard he's underrated. And he's not very expensive either, right? I heard he's like 30, 40K. I might have to pick him up too. I have the MT. I don't have much MT, but I have enough for him. Terrible shot. Giannis was wide open in the corner. Good defense. See if we can get a stop. Victor is definitely going to do good with the Spurs. Facts. And Popovich, at this point, he might never retire. He got to coach D-Rob and Tim Duncan. He got to coach Kawhi, Tony Parker, Ginobili. So many greats. And now he gets to help Wembenyama develop. He gets to help the Spurs develop as a young team into a possibly a championship contending team if Wembenyama pans out. Steve B said, who's your starting five all time in the NBA? Hmm. Okay, so what do you mean by all time starting five? Do you mean the best player of all time at every position? Or like the best power forward, best point guard, best center? Or do you mean what is the most unstoppable team you can build? Because I have two different answers. My, if it was the best player at every position, I got Magic Johnson at point guard, Michael Jordan at shooting guard, I got LeBron at small forward, I got like Tim Duncan at power forward, and then Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the center, if that's what you mean. But if you mean the best possible team, I'm taking Curry at point guard, I'm putting LeBron in there with Michael Jordan at the shooting guard, then I'm putting Kevin Durant at the power forward, and then at the center I'm going to put Kareem. But honestly, Hakeem Olajuwon, so many other guys, like even Tim Duncan at the center, even, you know, Wilt Chamberlain at the center. Like, man, you can make an amazing team with a bunch of guys who are interchangeable. Ooh, bad shot, bad shot. But yeah, man, I mean, in terms of floor spacing, in terms of having a playmaker, LeBron would be the playmaker for that second team I named, while Curry would be a huge shooting threat. Jordan would be a big time threat, obviously. Um, Kevin Durant would provide spacing and scoring one-on-one -on -one and defense. And also, of course, no matter who you put in there, Kareem, Elijah one, you're gonna get elite defense and scoring in the paint, obviously. DeRozan for three. Popovich is gonna be 152 years old and still coaching. That's a fact. At this point, why retire? Why not add some more championships? I do wonder who the next Spurs coach is going to be because they're going to make sure they pick up the right guy to replace Popovich whenever he does retire. And that coach is probably going to end up being a multi-championship winning coach too, just like Pop. Steve B said goodbye. Hey, take it easy, Steve. Glad I could answer your question. Also, what's this guy doing? He's basically just giving me the ball. We've made this game into a blowout, man. This guy's just giving me the ball over and over. I kind of gave it back to him right there, though. Good shot. Max said, who's your top 10 all-time favorite players? Top 10... I'm not going to name 10 guys. It's hard to think of all 10 right now off the top of my head. But my top three is Carmelo, Kobe, D. Rose. Paul Pierce is also up there, man. I've, he's always a player I've enjoyed watching. And he's always like been like a meme to me. But he's kind of disrespected in NBA history. Pierce was an elite scorer for years, man. And he wasn't very athletic. He wasn't like this insane, you know, athletic god. But his contested shot making was crazy. He was super clutch. Man, I really enjoyed watching Pierce play. What's up, PDX Papermaker? Carson, welcome to the stream, my man. The stream's almost over, but we are playing at least one more game after this, so that's good. Papermaker said, look at Doc going for it at like 3 a.m. Facts. It's 2.35 Central Time. We've been grinding. 
And we're not done yet. We're trying to get this Mitch Richmond. We're 19 and 0 if we somehow win this game, which I think we should be able to close it out. But yes, if we win this, we're 19 and 0. As Gobert gets the easy two. I can't believe this guy hasn't quit. Gent said Paul's the GOAT. Just look at his highlights. He's one of the most underrated players. Facts. Like, people see Paul Pierce as like a scrub or as a meme. But he could really score that ball. Even though he wasn't blowing past you. Even though he wasn't, you know, making a lot of separation. He was just an insane contested shot maker who can score on anybody. Even though he wasn't super athletic or fast or quick or shifty. His shot making ability made him so fun to watch. Say what you want about him as an analyst. I know he got fired from ESPN. I know that Draymond roasted him. I know Draymond was like, you're not Kobe. I know Draymond really killed him with that, but still, Pierce had a great career. He actually kind of did deserve a farewell tour, even though he's not on that same level as LeBron, Kobe, or Jordan or those guys. Yeah, he's not on that level, but he deserves something. Papermaker said, right on, man. Have a great rest of your stream. Hey, and you have a great rest of your night, man. Thank you for dropping by and tuning in. Good defense. Gotta get the rebound, though. Zach said, been a minute, Doc. Happy to see you streaming again. I'm happy to be streaming again, man. And it's good to have you in here for sure. It's been a while, but we're finally back. Back on the grind. Hopping online. Winning games. If we win this game, we're 19-0, and 0, so... Let's make sure I close this one out. This guy's starting to make some shots. Really starting to cut into this lead. So I low-key have to watch out. Low-key. Very low-key. Yasser said he was cold. Trash talking before pulling up from deep. Facts. Paul Pierce was cold, man. He had that dog in him for sure. No question. Paul Pierce had that dog in him. Alright, this guy's going nowhere. Good defense by Gobert. Another offensive rebound. Come on, guys. Let's grab a rebound, finally. Jet says he hit lots of clutch shots, and people forget him, and KG carried the Celtics to championship back in 08, and even went to the finals versus Kobe in 09. 2010, they went to the finals. Honestly, Jet, you're right. In 2008, the Celtics beat the Lakers pretty easily in the finals. In 2009, they were the favorites to go back to the finals and win, but KG got injured. And then in 2010, they made it back to the finals and lost in seven versus Kobe. Their team also wasn't fully healthy. You can argue that if Kendrick Perkins was healthy, maybe the Celtics win that game because he was a big inside force for them and they were so close. And remember, Pau Gasol was absolutely dominant in that game seven, rebounding the ball. Nobody could stop him in the paint. Maybe Kendrick Perkins actually helps limit Pau Gasol a little bit. You never know. Either way, in hindsight, that was a great series for Kobe. Even though he didn't play the best in game seven, even though that even though Ron Artest and Pau Gasol were huge reasons why they won, that championship versus the Celtics really cemented Kobe's legacy. Because not only did he pass Shaq with his fifth ring, but he also got revenge on the team that beat him in 2008. If Kobe would have played versus the Magic again or the Cavaliers in the finals in like 2010, that championship, it would not have been as big for his legacy as beating Boston again. Because obviously Lakers Celtics, big rivalry there. You guys get it. Y'all know the rules. Y'all know what I mean. That championship versus Boston was huge for the Mamba's legacy. Unfiltered said, Doc returns, brings me luck. Pulled two Dark Matters since the stream. That's huge. Congrats. Who did you pull, though? If either of them were invincible, that's big time. Nolan said, Paul Pierce, definitely my favorite player ever to be in a wheelchair mid-game. Come back and dominate. Now, I agree. Very cool moments, but Paul Pierce 
he said that he wasn't actually injured in that wheelchair. He was faking the injury. He actually had to take a shit. It was just hilarious to me. It's even funnier to me than... You know, well, not even funnier, but even cooler to me than, you know... It, than actually being an injury. Getting in a wheelchair because you have to poop is hilarious. Then he came back and dominated. You're right. Nolan says he took a quick dump. Facts. A very quick dump. Then he came back out and dominated. Good defense. Man, this guy's been turning it over like crazy and fouling like crazy. I'm surprised this guy hasn't gotten kicked out of this game yet for fouling and turning it over too much. <sighs> it's all good. Let's win this game, then we only gotta win one more. Unless we get Richmond after our ninth win. I know I'm turning it over right now, I know I'm missing a lot of shots, I know I'm not playing the best defense, but at this point, I'm just over it. I'm ready for this game to be done. I hate that this guy hasn't quit, but I'm not that upset since we have a good lead and we're going to win. Unfiltered said CJ and Rush, Jason Richardson. Not bad. Not bad. I was expecting you to say Invincible Shaq or something, but that's not bad. That's very respectable. Ninja Nolan says, don't know how you can take a dump mid-game, but he did it. Yes, he did. And it apparently was pretty big for the Celtics winning. It helped them win, apparently. Terrible shot, but uh, I'm just trying to run the clock out. Max Viper said cats or dogs. I gotta go cats in... No, I gotta go dogs in six. Cats are cool. Cats are funny. But I have two dogs and zero cats. So I gotta say I prefer dogs. They're man's best friend. Unfiltered said, no money spent squad. I don't do packs. That makes two of us. That makes two of us. This is a no money spent series after all. Right now we're grinding, trying to get tokens, MT, and of course, Dark Matter, Mitch Richmond. Germ says, I pulled Invincible Shaq, but I sold him because I needed MT. That's a good, mature decision, you know? That's a good and mature decision. You could have kept him and been paint mashing and dominating and shooting with him, but you did what you had to do. You're making some MT. Can't complain about that. Jet says, Dark Matter on our test is so good, I'm going to sell him right now and buy him back when he drops in price. Good idea. Yeah, that Dark Matter point guard Artest is another player I was considering getting yesterday. I was considering it, but I got Shea Gilgis and KPJ instead. Alright, good defense. We're gonna get the ball back and hold it. Unless this guy's holding the ball. Okay, he's not. He's going for one more bucket. Can he cut our lead down to 32? The answer is yes. What a big shot by Carl Malone. Let's just go ahead and run the clock out, though. I wish this guy would have quit, because this game's been over for a while, but no big deal. GG, one win away from 20-0. But if we get Mitch Richmond right here by chance, we'll probably end the stream right here, because I'm tired. It's been four hours, and I gotta shower and eat, and wake up for church in the morning. Either way, I wouldn't be upset if we have to play game number 20. Now, where's this ascension thing at? Can we get to the next board, please? Let's see. Where's it at? I made my decision on selling Dark Matter Steve Kerr. Hey, fair, not a bad decision. Can we get to the top board? Come on, 2K. Why can't we even get there? Please. Oh, dude. We might not even have, like, oh, we're probably not even going to have 15 picks. This is the worst luck I've ever had on the second board. Dude, we're about to be one pick, one game away. And we aren't even on the top board. That's crazy. That's easily the worst luck I've ever had. All right, man, here we go. Game number 20. 
Wow, so we're not even going to have, we might not even have 10 picks on the top board. That's pretty insane. I've usually had pretty good luck, luck in draft mode in the past. Really good luck. But not this time. Peja, Stefan Marbury, Sabonis, Igadala, Granger. That's a really good team. That's a really good squad. Are we at least going to get 20-0? I don't know. This guy's got a good team. Yasser said one last game. Lock it in. Dub stream. Glad I was able to tune in. I'm also glad you've been able to tune in, man. It's been a good one. It's not done yet, though. We still got some work to do. As Sexton drills the fadeaway jumper. Let's do this. Have I played against this guy? Those jerseys feel kind of familiar. I don't know. Either way, let's do this. Oh, dude. What's... Why is... Why is Gobert double teaming? No big deal. Ninja Nolan said, definitely the team of all time. Facts. Not the best, not the worst, just the team. I do think that a lot of guys I've played against in this stream, though, have had the better team. I'm not sure if this guy's a better team, but I don't know. I think I like Marbury better than Sexton. I like Peja better than DeRozan. I like my Gobert better than his Zabonis. I also think I like Giannis better than Egadala. All things considered, our teams are pretty even. We also both have Danny Granger. So yeah, all things considered, our teams are pretty evenly matched. So whoever wins this is the better player, I'd say. Unless one of us just gets supremely bailed out. Let's lock in. One last game. Just like Viper said. One last game. Let's play some good defense, and maybe we can get this guy out of here early. Oh, that's, oh, that's good defense. Good defense, just a tough call. We'll live with that. We'll live with that. Should have been a block, but I'm living with that. Nice behind the back. Oh, I meant to pass that to Gobert. We'll pass out the Granger though. Nice shot. Quinn said, when are you uploading new No Money Spent episodes? I kind of missed them. I don't know. I think I'm primarily going to make streams my main content for No Money Spent, but we'll see. I do like making videos, but they can take a long time to edit. They can be a real hassle to edit sometimes. Nice, nice, nice. Granger open in the corner. Good recovery on defense by him. I could have shot that if he didn't get back fast enough. Good shot for Sexton. Great look. Wavy Hoop says, not gonna lie, I missed CP. I missed you too, man. What happened to that purple profile picture, though? That's right, I remember the OG Wavy Hoops profile picture. It's good to have you back in the stream no matter what, man. Nice spin, nice baseline drive, good defense. Alright. Good start. Great start to this game. Wavy said, God bless the streams. Yes, sir. I'm glad the streams are back, and it sounds like a lot of you guys are glad they're back too. Let's play some defense, baby. Let's maybe get this guy out of here. I wish the last guy would have quit. I know I've said that like 30 times, but man, I hate that he didn't quit. Wasted so much of my time. Kidding. I still had fun. Ooh, that was a great release. That would have been a deep leaner right there. Play some defense. Nice, nice, nice. And Sexton's got takeover. Sweet. Ah, crap, crap. It's all good. Let's see if I can answer back. Let's see if I can get a three with Sexton. Greg says, dub stream, and I'm glad you're back. Yes, I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back on the grind again. Wavy Hoop says, no way you remember the picture. Oh, trust me, I do. I'm telling you guys. I know that you guys like to ask, like, do you remember me? Do you remember me, like, from this stream or whatever? 
I remember because I look at the chat so much, I read the names over and over. I get very familiar with you guys just off reading the chat and looking at your profile pictures. So wavy hoops, just from you joining the stream so much in the past, I remember that original profile picture. I like the new one, but obviously the OG is the one I remember the best. Little Greg says, dub stream, glad you're back. Glad to be back, Greg. Jay says, what game mode are you playing? This is Draft. If we win this game, we're 20-0, and 0, which would be insane. But this guy's pretty good. He's only down by five. RX said, dub stream. Yes, sir, RX. Thank you for hanging around. Kim Lee Cho said, yo, what's good, Kim Lee Cho? It's been a long time. Welcome back. Now, that's a familiar face I didn't see in yesterday's stream. Welcome back. Good defense. Let's go. Ice Knife said, do you remember me? You've been talking all stream. Trust me, I remember you for sure. Wavy said, you the goat. That's all you, Wavy. It's good to have you back. And of course I'm glad to be back. I've said that about 100 times now, but it's true. I'm glad to be back. As Sexton hits a leaner. Come on, man. This game's close. It shouldn't be this close. We have the better team. Well, actually, I don't know about that, but I, I think we're the better player. Bad shot, bad shot. I, I forgot the release was going to be like that. Terrible shot. We're up by nine, though. Let's keep on pulling away. Great defense, but they call a foul. Tough. Max said, best card under 10k. Hmm, I like Karolinko a lot. I like Galaxy Opal Karolinko. He's pretty good. I like Galaxy Opal Larry Hughes, too. Honestly, this Galaxy Opal Gobert is very underrated. I like him a lot as well. And he's less than 10k for sure. Great shot. Ah, barely missed the release, though. Barely messed it up. Doc's favorite four words... I'm glad I'm back. Yeah, pretty much. I've been saying that a ton. Those pretty much are my favorite four words. I can't sit here and act like I haven't said that a ton. Kyrie said, bye CP, good night. I gotta go, take it easy Kyrie. And thank you for subscribing this stream. Welcome to Doc Nation. I'm glad you've enjoyed the stream and hung around for so long. Take it easy and hopefully I'll see you again soon. J210 said, are you going for Allen Houston? Come on, Jay. If you know me, you know I'm going for Allen Houston. 100%. Hopefully I can get um, Sean Elliott along the way. But yeah, we're definitely going for Allen Houston. I think the next time we stream, we're going to get John Havlicek. We've already started on clutch time, so might as well keep on grinding it. My goal is to get every single Dark Matter reward by the end of the season. Even though some of them might not be that good, I want them. I want to get them. I want to add them to my collection and make the team better at the same time. Aaron said, Opal Go Bears hitting corner threes for me in clutch time. He's been hitting threes for me today too, man. This Go Bear can really shoot. His three point rating is not that bad. It's obviously not great, but it's not that bad. He's excellent on defense. He's tall. He's got long arms. He can score in the paint a little bit too. He's not bad. He's really not bad. He's a legitimately solid center. For like 4,000 MT? Not bad. He might be even cheaper than that. I snipe said, can I send you a picture on Twitter? Of course you can. Jordan said, dub stream. Yes, sir. Xavier said, what happened to the Basketball League videos? I'm gonna bring those back. Summer League starts this year on June 13th. I'm either going to post those as TikTok videos or YouTube videos. One or the other. Either way, I'm going to record those videos and I will post them somewhere. Ah, that's good defense. Okay, a little lag spike. We've gotten a few of those this stream. It didn't lag much yesterday or today, which is great. My connection here is great, but we've had a few random little spikes. Not a big deal. 
CP, you should stream Warzone on another channel. I do have another channel where I want to start playing games other than 2K. On this channel, though, we're growing well. I think I'm going to focus this channel on basketball and 2K. But once we hit like 100K or something like that, then I might start to focus on a different channel. I don't know. But this channel's been growing very well year by year. I'm going to keep on posting content to it, and I'm going to do the best with this channel that I can. Great shot. Woo! Harry says, what level are you? I think I'm level 27. I think. This stream, I've mainly been playing draft, so I haven't been doing that much in terms of XP challenges, but I think I'm 27. Max Viper said, go Bears, 3,500. So he's even cheaper than I said. Yeah, go Bears pretty good. Wavy Hoops said, valid. Yes, sir. You know all about the YouTube grind, Wavy Hoops. I can't remember how many subs you have now, but I know I'm sub to you. Solid first half. SB Live said, ladies and gentlemen, it's Stupid the Dog. SB Live, I've streamed for over eight hours total over these last two days, and you're the first person to get my name right. Unbelievably. You're the first person to get it right. Now, I got BP the Dog from somebody, so somebody came close, but for some reason, Everyone's been calling me, like, CP the Doc or something cringy like that. You're the only one who's gotten it right. Welcome back to the stream, SP. 20 and 0 if we win this game, but we're not even on the top board for Mitch Richmond. Absolutely pathetic odds. Like, I've done a terrible job picking these Ascension cards, but 20 and 0 is pretty good. Let's finish this game strong and close out the stream. Great defense. Let's go. SB said, it's the day ones. We just remember the real times. Jet said, CP the doc. That's crazy. Who would call you that? Man, it's hilarious. One day I was just chilling in SB's stream. One, yeah, I was just chilling. And this kid in the chat was like, stupid the dog. When are you going live? Clearly he was trying to talk to me and ask when I was going live. But yeah. He butchered my name so bad, calling me Stupid the Dog. I wasn't really insulted because it was just funny. I'm not going to get mad over something like that. He was clearly just a kid asking when I was going to go live. And I think he was using like voice recognition on his phone or whatever. That was his excuse. Not a great excuse, but it was funny. Go Bear! We were just talking about this. Go Bear can hit those corner threes. What up, Ace? Welcome back to the stream. SB said, it's great to see you back in action, A. And it's great to see you back in the stream, SB. I've been seeing the clips you're posting on YouTube. I've been getting notifications about those clips. But let me know when it's time for another SB stream. I know a lot of people have quit content creation because of how inept my team's been over the past however many months. But I'm glad you haven't. I'm glad a lot of guys haven't. Lethal Pascal is still streaming, making content. Oko Dre is still doing his thing. Obviously, SP2K just hit 50,000 subs, which is absolutely huge. Matt Mojo is still going strong. Man. Yasser says, I would have quit already if Gobert was dropping this many corner threes. Right after you said that, we got the quit. All right, you guys. All right, you guys, call it out. Let me know what number cards I got to pick because we have only 10 tries for Mitch Richmond. I really doubt we get them. I really, really doubt it. But you guys call out numbers. This is our final attempt at the stream. And yeah, let's see if you guys can bring me some good luck. Ninja Nolan said 69. Of course, 72, 70, 69. Ninja Nolan said 4 and 20. I'll do 4. Jet said 89. Um, there is no 89. I'm seeing a lot of crazy numbers. 3,089. Let me look at other numbers. Harry said 38. 38's right here. Ah, tokens. RX said number 9. 
That's what I'm talking about! I had to bring that one out of the woodworks. I had to bring that catchphrase back. Mitch Richmond, baby, with only 10 picks on the top board. That's pretty epic, man. I'm not going to lie. That's epic. Hey, whoever said number nine, our ex savior, shout out to you. I probably would have picked the right corner anyway, but we're never going to know. Ladies and gentlemen, successful stream. Yeah, we went 20 and 0, but we got the card we set out for, so that's a pretty big deal. And we got it in four hours. I'm not sure how long it would have taken to get Mitch Richmond in co-op, but we got him in just over four hours, so that's pretty dope. And we're level 28 now. We gained two levels in one stream just by playing draft. That's pretty dope. I mean, literally all I was doing was just having fun playing draft, getting my legs under me, just trying to have fun playing the game. And we got all these trophy case cards, which are pretty much worthless now. And we got 300 tokens. Not complaining about that. 50 more tokens. Season 7 badge pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Rock Richmond on the squad is pretty dope. Large dub. Facts. Facts. Our first Dark Matter of the season who's actually kind of challenging to get. Oh, I like Ogalskis. We're going to keep him in the starting five. Let's put Richmond on the bench for now. We'll put him on... Let's replace Donovan Mitchell. We'll put Richmond in the lineup for aesthetic purposes. But Big Z is still 100% that dude. If you guys are wondering who's behind the face cam, we have AK-47, Earl Lloyd, Chuck Cooper. Our team is slowly coming together. We don't have many good options for guys to put in, but I'd say we're doing all right. Mitch Richmond, six foot five shooting guard, 99 on both offense and defense, 98 three-pointer, great driving dunk and ball handle, good perimeter defense, good speed, and 35 Hall of Fames. He might not be insane, but Mitch Richmond, he's a player I always enjoy using in 2K. I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, he was a great shooting guard back when he played in the league. He was a great shooter, great athlete. I've just always enjoyed using Mitch Richmond in 2K, though, even though I never really got to watch him in real life. Jordan Brewer said, Pose, oh man, remind me after I shoot around a little bit. I think I'm a bit too tired to go online and play another game, but dude, I, I gotta do the pose. His jumper is nice and quick. He's got a very nice jumper. We all saw that coming, but yeah, not a bad behind the back. It's no curry slide, but not a bad behind the back. Very easy jumper to time. He's also got Hall of Fame Limitless, so he's gonna be hitting threes. I'm probably gonna use him offline more than I use him offline, but Regardless, he's going to be a fun card to use. Huh. Missed three straight threes. Pathetic. Four straight. There we go. RX said, who's your next stream Dark Matter going to be? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm thinking Havlicek on Monday. Then we're going to go for Marshallonis. I think we're also going to go for... Sean Elliott, and of course, Alan Houston relatively soon. And I also want to get, I mean, Artis Gilmore. All you need is 6,000 points. That's really not that hard. I know Unlimited's very toxic, but we went 20-0 and 0 today. I feel like my skills, they're still there a little bit. They're still there a little bit, so I feel like we won't be that bad if we play Unlimited, even though it's going to be tough. And obviously, we're going to get Zion before long, too, because grinding XP is not that bad. All right, guys. Y'all know what time it is. Spam some dubs in the chat, because I'm about to do my signature pose. Y'all spam some dubs, then we're going to end the stream. And let me check real quick to see if anybody else is live, because I want to raid somebody, but I'm not sure if anybody's live. There's all the dubs. Let me go ahead and bring the pose back, baby. Here we go. The pose 
is back. Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to post that picture probably tomorrow, maybe tonight. I don't know. This is going on Twitter tomorrow, that picture. All right, who's live right now? Who's live on YouTube? Nobody. Tough. Should I raid somebody? Or should we just end the stream right here? Because I'm always down for a raid. I wouldn't even mind raiding somebody who's not even playing 2K. Maybe there's some ASMR streamer out there. Maybe there's someone playing Pokemon. Maybe there's a, a kitty tub streamer out there. Kidding, kidding. But I think we're going to end things right here. SB, Ninja Nolan, Afum, Gents, Germs, Cash, everybody who's in here. Thank y'all so much for hanging around. I'm glad we can get Mitch Richmond. This was a fun stream. 20 games played, 20 wins, and we get Mitch Richmond. Jen says hot tub raid. I think we'll wait until we're streaming Monday to raid somebody. Ninja Nolan says one hell of a stream, man. Can't wait till Monday for the next stream. Facts, it's gonna be good. After game seven of the Heat and the Celtics. Espy, I know you like the Celtics, so shout out to you. After that Heat Celtics game seven, which should be a great game, we're gonna hop on that stream and we're Probably going to get Havlicek from Clutch Time. That's my goal, at least. Gent, Yasser, Espy, Emmett, Savior, Unfiltered Truth. Everybody who's in here, thank y'all so much for an awesome stream. And you guys make sure to turn on notifications, subscribe, drop a like, all that good stuff if you haven't already. Stay tuned, because I got more for y'all on the way. Monday. Thank y'all so much for a great stream, and I'll see y'all again soon.